Hello and welcome back to Monster of the Week. We are in part three of our ongoing current story and the gang has discovered a gruesome sight. Some sort of ritualistic sacrifice has been made. And poor James, the faithful butler, is nailed to the ceiling of the basement, his blood dripping into a chalice. And that is, that's where we left off. But before we get right back into the story, let's jump around the table and introduce your characters. Ready, set, go. We'll start with you, JR. JR, uh, I got John Johnson, the professional. Yes, he is. Christina? Uh, I am Sarah Winifred, the spooky. Liam? Uh, Ryder Clancy, the monstrous. Indeed. And at the other side of the table, Adam. Morty, <laughs> no last name, uh, the expert. Vivian Rain, the chosen. Indeed. So, you guys are in this shocking situation. Um, remember the basement lights are still off. Mm -hmm. So you came upon this scene, seeing these candles on the floor and this weird circle with these geometric shapes and the chalice and then bloop. Look up, blood, dead man, nailed to the ceiling, throat slit. If this were the game Call of Cthulhu, I would have all of you make a sanity loss roll right now. <laughs> yeah. But it's not, fortunately for you. Yeah. This is a gruesome scene, though. So how do you react? Jump in anytime. Yeah. How, how high is the ceiling, by the way? <laughs> it's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty tall, I'm going to say it's 10 feet. OK. So it's a pretty tall, you know, old building, um, pretty tall. Uh, I'm gonna immediately like scan the area, see if anyone else is down here, um, or just gather signs of how much space we have in the basement. Flashlight? Yeah. Make a investigate a mystery roll. Oh, the first sharp? roll of the night. All right. That is an eight total. Hey, that's that's pretty good. Um, that means that you get to ask a question. What happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What was going, what was it going to do? What is being concealed here? I want to ask, where did it go? Like what, if, if there's any sign of something leaving after doing this or I guess traces of someone okay. doing this. So you were looking at this this man whose throat has been slit, whose blood is spilled on in this chalice and on the floor below. And um, you you your eyes, you know, you have the flashlight, you see something out of the corner of your eye. And you turn and you see a bat hanging upside down about six joists down from where James is nailed up, like looking at you, a single bat. Normal looking bat? Uh, uh, uh like uh, I would say about the same size as the bats that were in the attic. I wasn't really in the attic. <laughs> Do I know yes. how to handle these? It, it looks normal. <laughs> well, here's normal though. Does it look normal for the Midwest? No. Okay. It's a little bit larger, <clears throat> as if maybe it doesn't belong in this hemisphere. A blast with the flashlight? <laughs> yeah. All right. It, it, it kind of flaps, turns, and it, it flies erratically away from you further into the depths of the basement. It's pretty normal bat-like behavior, I guess. <laughs> I think we need to go find the bat. Yeah. Follow, Follow the bat. Follow I the mean, bat. did we ever conclude if there's only one entrance exit, like the basement, like the door cell? Uh, no, I guess, I guess you know. no one really went further. You guys are like talking about this, right. and then you hear <laughs> from above. Oh, James. That's Is horrible. That <laughs> <laughs> I ask you, James. You see, he, his, now he is very pale. Yeah. He's lost a lot of blood. He's still alive. Ooh, does anyone have any he, medical? You see his eyes, we... and you see he's trying to talk, but is is. It doesn't look like his neck was cut in half level of throat slit, but so he's definitely he's got not so in good shape. So since he's uh, not able to really talk, but I can uh, read his mind. Uh, can I try and read his mind to yes, see what he's trying to say? Yes, you can, Spooky. 
Okay. Let's make a spooky roll. Spooky roll. Uh, seven? Yeah. Okay, that's a seven. That plus. That'll work. Well, plus. what were you... Read that power. Tell me what you mm. can do with it at, with a seven. Um, it's a success. This can allow you to investigate a mystery, read a bad situation without needing to actually talk. You can also manipulate someone without speaking. You will still roll moves as normal, except people will not expect awareness of your mental communication. How about read a bad situation? Because you're trying to communicate with him for what? What do you want to find out? You want to read his mind. What, yeah, do you, what, what, what are the questions? What happened? What happened? Right? Like, what happened? You, you see this series of very blurry sort of mental flashbacks from like his point of view, right? You see him, his hands, pouring out this powder, this white powder in the circle, and using this white chalk to draw these these symbols. But it's it's kind of like a hazy, blurry sort of recollection and, and like a montage of these memories flitting by. You see him setting the chalice down and like praying over it. And then you see a shadow out of the corner of his eye and you see his eyes, like from his point of view, just suddenly go like, whoop, like up to the ceiling, and then it's black, as if he like blacked out. Hmm. So something, some shadowy figure that you saw from the corner yeah. of his eyes moved with incredible speed, like grabbed him and flipped him up, and he was knocked out. Okay. He is desperately in a panic, yeah. wanting to not die. And he, he, you guys, he continues to like choke out, and finally, you hear like a. Is anyone? What do you do, Ryder? I was gonna say, is would this be a perfect opportunity presenting itself? Because it's kind of one of my things that I have to do. I feel bad about it in this situation, I but it is a character thing. Conflict. Okay. That is a thing that you probably need to resist. Alright, let's see how this goes. Act Smash cut pressure. over to the Morty and Viv side. Well, I'm surprised that Viv hasn't just tried to drink the chalice yet, because she normally does stupid stuff like that. <laughs> um, a chalice, oh! I'm not going not to let this blood go to waste, come on. Um, well, can we, okay, so we saw a bat, but did we determine that it was like, it was larger than normal, and it's like down there, I still want to follow that bat. Okay, just to be clear, there's a man who is very cordial <laughs> to you, nailed to the ceiling of the yeah, basement. but like, I mean. Still alive, choking, help me. Okay. I, I just, okay, I, I'm okay. not trying to railroad you. I, I'm just saying, <laughs> every, well, can we like, okay. Real dilemma, perhaps. Okay. Well, he's like already made his meal over there. Has he? Uh, I don't. Know. I rolled a nine, so I think I, I don't know, but I think I'm okay. You you are in control. Uh, the urge good. is there. Okay. Can we? Yeah. What is the help out? Can we we got to help out? this man fast yes. before it so comes can back. We, let's get him down. Well, cause see, okay. I have an infirmary, but we're not there because that's a physical thing. But I have an ability preparedness where. If we need something unusual, um, I can roll a plus sharp uh, on a 10 plus. We have it here and now. So if we want to get him down, we can try to get him down, unnail him, and then like see if, if you we can... collectively want to get him down, mm -hmm. you don't need to make a roll. Like if everybody reaches yeah. up and. Yeah, I think okay. that's. Uh, so we yeah. get him down. Okay. So you guys together each kind of support him and, and, and pull him loose. His, his hands and feet were also nailed to the yep. ceiling. So he's, he's bleeding from multiple spots. You, you bring him down to the, to the floor. He, he's, again, remember, he's totally naked. He, he's now holding his neck. He's trying to like hold the wound. Um, your medical knowledge tells you that he, like even if you had an ambulance waiting outside, yeah. He might be dead on, our, on arrival. Yep. He's lost a lot of blood. Yep. You have, in your medical experience, yep. you feel like you guys have precious few moments with this guy before he's dead. All right. So Sarah saw what he saw. Mm -hmm. Can we try asking him why he was 
or if he knows or if he knows what, what that was or what he was doing you know making the symbols on the ground can we ask him he's he he's like still trying to hold his throat and he's like Like what he's saying is even worth anything because he had his own little shrine down there and was doing weird stuff. So I mean, he could just be babbling at us, and it won't help us. That is a great question. Like, is he with us or against us? You know, like I don't know. He was pretty helpful initially, but do you share what you yeah. telepathically read with yes. everyone? Yes, okay. everyone knows. The impressions, so to, so to be clear, as Sarah explains like what she saw, it looked like his point of view, but it was very foggy and hazy, not lucid and clear. So he was either possessed This reminds yeah. you, Sarah, of something. It reminds you of sort of the mental state the of the child whose yes, mind you exactly read what I was saying, that he's possessed when, by something. yes, you feel like kind, helpful James was not in fact perhaps in control of himself when he was doing all this, that perhaps someone or something. Can I use my sight to see if there's anything like any kind of spirit or magical influence in the area? You can now. Yes, I would like to do that. Go ahead. Okay. Um, Okay, so it's when I investigate a mystery, so whatever I roll. Uh, five. You try to find the recently departed spirit of James, but you sense it is already gone. Okay. Well, that did not much good. Sometimes, in your experience, sometimes spirits linger. Yes. Sometimes they don't and you feel like this spirit did not linger. Like he's he's only been dead for a few seconds, but this spirit is gone. But in a more reassuring tone, you feel like he's gone on to a much better place. Okay, well that's good, I guess. I wanna follow the bat. Okay. Or go the way of the bat. Um, so you who's going the way the of the bat, and what light sources are you using? So did we just not turn on the light, or was the light not working? I was under the impression that you did not turn on the light when you okay. came down specifically because you wanted to like sneak down there okay. and see what was up. Okay. But you could. I mean, That's somebody right. could just walk back up to the switch. I say let's... I walk back. I am all for investigating the bat but I am all for turning on the light first. Can you turn on the light? Yeah. So I walk back and turn on the light. So okay. now that the light is on, what what do we see? Or how big is the room? The basement continues on quite a ways with many of those like shelving units just full of stuff and, and also just like furniture, again, kind of like the attic. Like, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, towards the back of the basement, you see uh, the ash basin, basically, like when you know you have fireplaces, like there's somewhere where all that ash goes. But you notice that the the the, the hatch, like to the clean out, is open. You see like ash hmm. there. Can I investigate a mystery? You can. I won't even make you roll. Tell me what you want to investigate. I want to know what happened. Here, like why is the ash all disturbed and all right left? you're fairly certain based on the size of this little ash clean out hatch that that bat probably was able to get down here through that and go back up through it 
There are no other uh, methods of egress from this basement. There are small, like, you know, basement windows, like cellar windows. None of them are open. None of them are broken. They're all intact. And that little ash clean out looks like maybe the bat came and went through this fireplace system. Are they that smart to just... No. You're, you're not a zoologist, but you're fairly certain that most bats <laughs> don't come and go through fireplace um, ash drop. Yeah. Things. So this I is... mean, you're not a chimney sweep, but you're fairly certain mm -hmm. that they're not that yeah. clever. So, where's that lead? so does this lead to the outside, or does this lead back to the upstairs? I well, guess, do we not know? your theory is that if this is connected to the other fireplaces in the home, that it would go vertically up right. to the right. first floor parlor, and then again vertically up to a certain master bedroom. I vote to see we do it back up to the master You and bed. me? And right. whoever wants to go. Yeah. yeah. And you know above that would be the attic. The attic. Yeah. Where all the bats are. Because Where all the bats are. in theory, a chimney would then terminate above the roof line. Right. Because that's where the smoke would go. So, do we go back up and have Ryder swing Fight at another point? <laughs> should we like secure or, or do the we... one down here before we go up? What so are we're, like, left? Running back and forth. It went up. Well, yeah, I guess we... close the latch. That's what I'm like, saying. It doesn't like just okay. come back down when yeah. we go up. Okay. So we latch the door and hope that bats don't have opposable thumbs. All right. mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Hmm. Either a read a bad situation or an investigate a mystery. Take I will pick. read a bad situation. Do I roll? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, As you are developing <laughs> this plan, yeah. Give me a roll. A uh, four. A four. A two plus two. There's a Wait, do I get an experience? Yes! Yeah, I level there up. There you go, you get an experience. <laughs> I level up. You are formulating this plan. Carry on. So we close I'm, the latch. Yeah, so close the latch or block. If, if you wanted to, you can close the latch and literally just shove like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so it. much there's crap storage. in this basement. Yeah. You yeah. could just like shove yeah. something up against Barricade it. Barricade it. James's yeah. body. Yeah. All right. There we go. William. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to ask you. Yeah. As everybody went to find the bat and they went to <laughs> uh, the back of the basement, yeah. I was just curious. Yeah, that's fair. If, Did you go back? No, no. I'm going to say this. You made your roll. Yeah. Spirit's gone. But at the same time. Spirit's yeah. gone. I mean, a free lunch is a free It's a free meal. And he's already dead, so I don't have to kill him this time. Reduce, reuse, so, recycle. I'm going for it. Okay. We're going to see. Uh, it's a six. You're hungry. Okay. <laughs> what would What would be a, an appropriate... You're not sure really what part of this, James, you'd like to eat. Okay. But I'm going to let you choose. I mean, Ooh. brains are a delicacy, but yeah. his skull is not caved in. That's true. And that seems mean to James. But there's a lot of, nothing but nice There's a lot of meat in that neck area, and it's already kind of open. That's fair. Yeah, all right, let's take a chunk out of his neck. Okay. <laughs> you just kind of all? reach yeah. into what's already open, and it's still warm, actually. You're okay. like, Ew. yes. <laughs> this is so much better than that dead old lady. And and you, <laughs> you pull out a chunk of something. Yeah. And and <coughs> it's better than it's, what it's, Vicky, what was her name? It's helping you. It's somehow yeah. making you feel a little more at ease. Okay. Okay. You guys formulate a plan. You have blocked off the ash clean out. Mm -hmm. Where is it now that you would like to go? I mean, should we just check each four? Yeah, and maybe up. block as we go. Yeah, yeah, we can like close okay. the close the lose or whatever. Yeah. So we're going to the parlor, parlor, parlor first. first. Can yeah. I ask an unrelated question? Please yeah. do. So, like, have you seen Eye Zombie? <laughs> I I actually haven't. Oh. I know uh, so that of it's a show. show. Every time she eats reference. the brain, oh. of like the she absorbs she, people's she, memories. Yes. Yeah. So I was wondering, do you think like? Does does Ryder have that ability? Is That'd that be dope. I, I was just wondering, is that something that he didn't eat the brain, he ate the neck. Right, roll, I, the neck. I will, I'll tell like, you this, roll two D six. If you roll either 
snake eyes. Okay. Or, or 12. A 12. I will give you an additional insight. Oh, nope. well, that's the same. I kind of, I was kind of hoping that yeah. would. That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll play that game. Um, so you guys are going to go upstairs. So just to, just to give you a layout, if you recall, like there was a you know a beautiful entrance foyer. There was yep. like a parlor. There was another parlor. I mean, this is a big old mansion, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and then you walked down the hallway. There, there's the stairs that go up. There's the stairs that go down. Kind of in the middle of the house. There was a big, huge dining room, kitchen, uh, bathrooms, that little side porch, all that stuff. And then towards the back of the house, past all that was uh, the the like office slash you know security room. That's that back area is where that fireplace would go up based on where you guys are below. So you go back to the stairwell, you go up to the first floor, you go down the hall to that back um, you know, study, library, surveillance room, and you indeed see a fireplace. Is it disturbed at all? I won't make you roll. You get close, you get a flashlight, yeah. You, you see like little, you know, trails of, of ash and you don't see it doesn't look like this fireplace has been used recently mm -hmm. like there isn't even like there's no wood in there you know right. what i mean it's at this point it's almost like just like decorative seal it up and move on yeah yeah, yeah. seal it up and move shove on. shove some stuff in there yeah. mm -hmm. close yeah. the flu yeah. okay when you're doing that you hear something above like above the level that you're in yeah. like Into, like the, the master like a, uh, yeah. like a mm -hmm. Keep moving up. And it, it kind strong. of reminds you of when you guys were first exploring the second floor and you heard like this. Mm -hmm. It kind of sounds like that, but it sounds like that on stone instead of that on wood. Like, like something's it, crawling in yes. there? Up? Yes. Um, you, you block that up quickly and, and you, you run up the stairs. You get up to the second floor and go down the hall or are you going to the attic? What do you do? The, um, I'd say go down the hall, just knock out the master bedroom. Okay. You guys go to the master bedroom. You see um, the, the fireplace in the corner of the master bedroom. And you see that there is actually something moving in there. And it's, it's a bat and it's like flat, it's covered in ash and soot. And it, it's flapping and it's, it's going up like to climb up further. What do you do? Lure huh. it out. Can we like say, can we capture? close it before it even gets up through? We, we, just, we, like, we either need we, we either need to go up to the <laughs> we either need to go up to the <laughs> attic and close up there so it, it can't escape and like leave yeah. the house and we deal with it in the room or close it and go up to the attic and deal with it up in the attic. Well I think there's more than one. Oh, so I think there's well, yeah, there's like but a there's bunch one of right ones, there. Like, and there's one. So what do we do with that room. one? Do we lure it out into the room? Yeah, that I would we're try in? it. I would say like let's get it out and kill it, and then like investigate it. Okay, Can you are racing against a bat who's determined to get up. So I'm gonna need someone, whoever has the best cool level, to make an act under pressure because you you are trying to <laughs> close the flu and trap this thing in the master bedroom, right? I only have a one, so Mister. either okay. I have so two. So Viv, you you run over there to try to close the flu and trap this thing in. Go ahead and make a act under pressure roll. Could I help out since I've also got you a could help out. Roll a help out. Eight. Eight. Got three. <laughs> you do not help I'm out. Not well, you have a five. Eight. Oh, yeah, Eight five. is That's sufficient. Seven. You uh, you do it, but only if you do some, Wait, what? No, that's One. manipulate someone. Sorry, reading so. the wrong thing. Two. The keeper is going to give you a worse outcome, hard choice, or price to pay. Roll. Oh. This game is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> you will succeed. But okay. Take some time. Worse outcome. Hard choice price Just feel like I slam my face. You succeed. Into the, <laughs> the bat's flapping around furiously. It bounces up, hits its dumb head on the closed <laughs> flue, and now starts flapping out at you. You take one harm as it screeches by and, and bites into you. Ew. You guys see a bat attacking Viv. You can kill it if you want. 
Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and, and roll a kick some ass. Eight and zero to eight. What would eight. you like to kill it with? Just your bare hands. My bare hands. You just stomp <laughs> the thing down in the ground and it's dead. It twitches a couple times. It's Ew. dead. Your hand is covered in soot and ash. Seal up, keep moving. So does it look like a regular dead bat or is it? Looks like the same bat that you saw down in the basement originally. <laughs> Spooky, can it's you big. read minds like, at all? So to give you some scale, like it is bigger than what you would perceive to be like a Midwestern house bat. This okay. bat looks like the kind of bat you'd see in a zoo. Like it's it's larger. Still a real bat though. It's <laughs> like really uh, would we say something South Africa bad is happening right now? Not really. I mean, Viv has like a bleeding putt and maybe needs to get a rabies shot because she just got okay, bit by a bat. <laughs> Are you afraid of water? Well, if you hang um, on to the corpse, check for rabies later, yeah, you know, yeah. we'll just put that in the box. So. There you go. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's if the area is closed off, we keep going up, keep moving. Okay, you shove the something. Bed, the bed in or a dresser or, or something. So to remind you, this yeah. is a very you know, elegantly decorated master bedroom. There Not like, any there longer. Was. There are two, <laughs> two uh, dressers. There's like an armoire. There's one of those uh, places where you sit down and do your makeup in here. Vanity? Yes, vanity. a vanity with mirrors and lights and beautiful lamps with like Tiffany glass things. Mm -hmm. There's that massive, remember the family painting, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. portrait? of the family, six foot by eight foot massive thing that's that's almost floor to ceiling, right? It's only like two inches off the floor and two inches clearing the ceiling, it's huge. Um, and it, and um, nightstands, four poster bed, it's a big, well-decorated room. Yeah, move from dressers, move, yeah, vanity, anything okay. to block it. You guys just- Drag some furniture. Like you gotta get a dresser, right? I yeah. Don't know. Okay. Close the flue up, keep moving. Okay. So going up to the attic, you go back out to the hallway yep. and go to the attic stairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you go up to the attic. Lights? On. Okay. On. Doing that. <laughs> Making sure As you're walking up the stairs, you hear like flappy, 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 flappy. But, but when you get to the top of the stairs, you see they're all bats flying away from the light bulb and away from where you guys are towards that darker part of the attic. Who has a flashlight? Well, I do. Is it just you that has a <laughs> So you come up the stairs. <laughs> well, you can and cast light. There's like, you know, the, the, a landing and then the attic, and there's like a wall, and then there's the entire other span of the entire rest of the house. Start investigating. Yeah. Okay, Walk what are you looking yeah. for? Anything. Do well, we know if well, we got a problem? So we did see. The bronze statue. The, that's a the great bronze question. Yeah, yeah. The statue you have has the not gems. Moved. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, do we know in the attic, like where the chimney would keep going up? Are you looking for the chimney? Yeah, I mean we should yeah. figure out where yeah. that lines yeah. up. You're up right? there. No rolls needed. You're like, hmm, where's the chimney? And you're not spatially um, maladept. So you're like, all right. Well, we came up the stairs. Back that way was the master bedroom, which means. That's where the, and you look, and there's just a wall. Mm -hmm. You don't see a chimney. Can we investigate the wall? Does it, yeah, does, does it appear that there is It looks like a is very a... old wall that's probably been in the attic. You're not sure if it's structural. But, Would you like to investigate a mystery of the wall? Yeah, I would like to investigate a mystery of the wall. Okay. And see if there's any, yeah. Does anyone want to help out with the investigation of that yeah. mystery of the wall? Go ahead and make a help out roll. Ruby dooby redeem myself. Uh, natural 10 plus 2 is 12. I got a 7. Okay. Well, so that's a 13 total. Oh, sorry, an 8 for help out. So yeah. that's a 13 total. <laughs> <laughs> you, you exceeded things. So you get two holds. You get two questions. Ooh. Ooh. Um, okay. What is being concealed here? Is that one of the ones that you wanted? Yes. Be a good one. <laughs> yes. What is being yeah. concealed here? <laughs> I mean. And then the other one's a freebie, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Fair assumption. Can um, like, is there a well, question? we'll see what he says. What, so, what is being concealed here? You you start. You, you guys are starting to check this out. 
it looks like this wall has been up for a very long time. It's not new. Um, and it looks like it was, you know, studded out. Uh, you, you hold, like, from your tool belt, or one of you guys has, like, a tool belt, you're like, Utility. I think I have a stud finder. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. And you, you find, like, it's, it seems to be pretty old. Um, and it seems to divide the last chunk of the attic. There is, however, no door. Is this a solid wall? Is this is like uh, Beetlejuice, or you need to draw, draw a door and draw knock on a it? door? Yes. No. It's odd to you that there's no no access. There's no hatch. There's no panel. There's no. I mean, it's a it's a solid and it's dusty. It's been around for a long time. Is it like still structurally sound though? Like Are there? Wall? I mean, structurally in terms of you can lean which on we it. could just bust, bust through. Right. I mean, you certainly some, could. Someone's okay. got that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> who's? I guess. <laughs> All right, let's break you, this wall you, down. Let's go. Already broken doors. That would be Captain Kool Aid. <laughs> oh yeah. Help us. Are you, like, are you gonna, you're oh, gonna yeah. help me out bust through the I can door? Try help are you out. using tools or are you literally just trying to like Is there anything or kick is there anything <laughs> around in the attic? Are there any like swords oh, or weapons or blind statue. forces? Well yeah, but like I mean, is it a big statue? Does the statue yeah, have a big I will say that yeah, you, but how could you, find, swing? you could find like boards and things that yeah. you could use to bludgeon the wall. Yeah. Okay. You start banging through this thing okay. and you you blow through the drywall and you see studs and you see insulation and you see you pull the insulation and you see another layer of drywall as if to imply that there's a you know a finished wall on the other side of this wall you blow through that so now you're looking through a 18 inch gap okay. shine the light through yes you do you see a finished room about the same size as the master bedroom, which is not small. This finished room has a wooden circular table in the middle with five chairs, and it has shelving with books on it. In addition to the books, it has a number of figurines, statues, um, and other small knickknacks. It looks like there is also a stairwell, like a one of those little circular stairwells that leads down. Hmm. I mean, we got to get well, but we're But we're above the master bedroom. Yeah. And nice. this, okay. So also, there's some game. Well, I make a big enough hole to get in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not going to go back downstairs. Your flashlights yet. kind of scan the room. Um, it, the room, first of all, is clean. It's not filthy like the rest of the attic. Uh, second, there are no bats in this room. Um, like I said, there's some shelves with books and some other kind of collectible items. Uh, most of the statues and figurines that are on these shelves that are displayed seem to have kind of a similar origin, similar stylistic origin. They, they all look they're carved from many different materials, like many different kinds of stone and quartz and you know all these different things, wood, but they all kind of have a similar style. Um, and there are a number of small bat figurines amongst these. You also notice that there is some similarity to some of the more humanoid figurines. Um, there's a similarity to the large statue that's up in the attic. Like a striking similarity. Some kind of Mesoamerican, uh, I'm not sure if it's Aztec or Mayan or something, but it seems like there's some kind of similar thing. We got no windows, I'm guessing, in this room. Nope. Okay. There's a light switch. Oh, turn all right, I'm going to get in. Let's flip that yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Turn on the light. Okay. It is just a chandelier above the circular wooden table. 
Uh, there's nothing on the table. There are five chairs. There's five of us. Yeah. Let's all sit down and have a seance. Um, is anyone investigating the, the other stuff, like the books? Did you read some like voodoo on these statues or something? Is, is that something you can do? Mm. Or Morty, is that something you can do? Say, I was going like to say, can I, I can do dark past in which I can ask a question where it's what black magic do I know that could help us here if I roll high enough. So seven to nine, I get to ask one. Ten plus, I get to ask two questions. Eight plus, what is it, weird? Ten. Hey, look at that. <laughs> um, what black magic do I know that could help us here? You start looking at these objects. You're looking at the books. The books almost exclusively are an incredibly narrowly focused subject matter, uh, specifically about Mayan history, Mayan culture, Mayan religion. Um, and then there's a few other books that are about esoteric magic like rituals and you get the impression that all of this stuff is connected that the presence of these bats are connected and that in some fashion that ritual for which James was a sacrifice may have involved a summoning now once something is summoned it depends on the thing what it was and what it is Sometimes you can do the opposite of summoning, which is to banish the thing. Sometimes things can't be banished after they've been summoned. They can only be killed. And then for my second question. <laughs> see, should I do, do I know anyone who might be behind this? Or when I dealt with this creature or one of its kind, what did I learn? Hmm. Neither of those are really good. Um, when I dealt with this creature, or one of its kind, what did I learn? We've been seeing bats. You've never dealt with a creature like this, right. but you've read about it. Right. Because you, an expert. you you are an authority by virtue of deep, deep volumes of research. You have read about things like this, and you feel like this is... Um, Whoever summoned this did not likely do so alone, because in your experience, summonings often require not just sacrifice, as in sacrifice of James the butler, but a number of people who are using, channeling magical energy to do that level of thing, to summon something that is otherworldly. Um, and you feel like the bats are somehow connected to this, but the bats in and of themselves are not what was summoned. You feel like whatever was summoned is much, much, much worse. And that to do so would have required a number of people acting in concert. Is the whole family in on this? That's, That's what I was thinking. Because there's what, three kids? Three kids and the mom and the mom and the butler. And the butler. Yeah. How Five many people chairs. does that make? Five. Uh, I knew there was something wrong with Vinny. Yeah, let's go bust Vinny's door down. <laughs> Drag him by his ear. Yeah. We don't know where. As he's I mentioned, at. in addition to the library shelves with these many books, um, and the figurines, statues, that sort of thing, and the table with the five chairs and the chandelier. There is also a set of very narrow spirals, spiral stairs that lead down. So I say, can we, like before anyone goes down, can we at least like look down the stairs or do you have to go down to see what's going uh, on? Well, it's, it's a spiral, but it's not, like it's, it's, it's like 12 level. feet. Yeah. So you can see that it goes down and it terminates at what looks like a wall, but you can actually see light coming from the bottom and the top and the sides. It's almost like, it's behind like a door. It's behind the picture. 
I was gonna of say the family. I was gonna say to like look behind the picture, but then I thought that sounded too stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but but then he was emphasizing like the gap oh, and all that. Is. You know. So Okay, so well okay. Well I can tell you I'm not going down those creepy stairs. I'll go from the oh. bedroom. <laughs> Wait, back backtracking a bit too, the whole reason we kinda of went in there. Is there the like the chimney suite? Like did yes. we did we see anything yeah. good about that? Yep. <laughs> Is there anything in, in in the very back corner of this room? You see the chimney. There's no opening for it, uh, fireplace. But the chimney continues up to the roof and through the roof. It's a no more exit points, presumably. But they're getting into the into the attic. Hmm. Okay. Because well, the window open. So. I mean, I guess we don't need to go down the stairs because we see that it Let's move on, just terminates. Bust through the painting. Bust through yeah, the painting. Nice. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> go for it. Yeah. Right. Here goes I down. say we go mess right. Vinny up. Let's go. All right, so who's going where? Wait, what's our angle here? <laughs> like what? I, I kind of want to read a bad situation in, in this room or... I mean, to just say that this room is just here and there's nothing going on, like, I don't know, we're missing something. Yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, talk it out first. Before right. you roll a dice, What I mean, think about what I just said. Like, mm -hmm. So you, you share with everybody yeah. your insights into this, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. this is clearly... Multiple people. Multiple have people summon acting something. in concert to summon something. Okay. What other clues do you have in this room? Uh, All of the books are what? Right. Yeah. Like Mayan, Mayan, Mayan things. Sacrificial. Lots of bat references. Yeah. Yep. Um, artifacts resembling the statue in the attic. Yes. So, I mean, we could go and interrogate Vinny some more, but. Interrogate the statue. Mayan bat god. Oh. If we looked through the books, would we be able to find anything that looked like the statue? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Is it some god? Do you just take some time to do that? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> you, you start to gather some information. I'm not going to make you roll, because collectively you guys start flipping through these books, and you see that many of the pages have annotations, and there are consistent references to a Mayan bat god of night and death called Kamazotes. He that's wasn't what, rambling. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Is there any information regarding banishing of a god, or is it just information regarding summoning? No, but you do find information about summoning. Now, it's not like a step-by-step, -step, like, step one, right. you're out of space. <laughs> step two, sacrifice a servant. Um, but it's it's a lot of like archaeological studies of different Mayan temples that showed how this bat god was revered and and sacrifices were made to that bat god and and a lot of like I mean books going back to like the 1920s of like expeditions into the Yucatan Peninsula and finding these jungle you know temples that that show different references to this. Um, there are even, you know, a few of the books that have like old grainy black and white photos of some of these, you know, discovered temples that had been lost in the jungle. So in, the, in these books, or more do you be able to discern like, what information can we get about this Mayan bat god? Like what are we actually dealing with now? Yeah, that we know what so it is, this mystery. Mayan bat god of night and death is number one a god in so Mayan screwed. mythology. Number two um, can basically shape change into a bat, any size bat. Uh, when appearing in a humanoid form, appears as a very powerful warrior. Um, number three can also move between shadows, any dark place, from one dark place to another, which is basically like why night is one of their domains. And number four becomes more powerful through offerings of lives. 
because Kamazotes is a god of night and death. Now, hmm. do you think that the actual Kamazotes was summoned? You don't know. What but whatever this all? group was doing, it doesn't look like they just got into this, you know, like happenstancely or recently. Like this collection looks like it's been like it's taken you like you have admiration. There's like a yeah. moment, Morty, where you're like, man. <laughs> this is a collection and you're like yeah. can I fit all of this <laughs> you know like you're yeah. like it is an incredible archive of a very specific subject I mean what do we interrogate well, so do Vinny or yeah like, we either interrogate Vinny or start killing off the bats but we don't necessarily know uh, I feel like Vinny is the main person behind all of this and he's okay. killing off his mom and the butler and his sister and brother are next okay is it close to be daytime the as well? Do we know? How much time do we have left? You have two hours left. Till sunrise? Okay. Let's go interrogate Vinny. Is that when our deadline is? Aren't That's we when our deadline is. Yeah, because the popo is coming, remember? Yeah. The family was That's able right. to put them off for a little while. But also, if he is messed up by the light, it might almost be beneficial to wait till daytime. But he might just be, like, be gone during the daytime. Like, That's true. Might not what be time of year is this? <laughs> How oh, early does it become daylight? Wait a minute. Like, the family asked us to be here. If the family is involved in this, well, that, why would the they want outsiders? They could have lost no, control for that insurance of the payout. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. Well, I mean, maybe they summoned it or meant to summon something. They got some Marie, else you and have just earned a. Get more sacrifice. A forward, which is a hold that you can save for later. So you can ask a question later. Okay. Got a question for Vinny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Related to what you just asked. Okay. Brought in to be fresh meat. Um, yeah. What if we were the sacrifices? <gasps> There's five of us. That's what I was but yeah. two have already been sacrificed. Well, the mom, we don't know. Mom, probably. Well, okay. So we need to figure out where this thing went or where this thing is or what happened. So we gotta go talk to Vinny. Yeah. I don't think all or of us continue. should go. I think some of us should stay back here because clearly this is like their hub. Yeah. Who wants to stay and who wants to go? I'm garbage with charm, so I'm not gonna bother talking to Vinny. <laughs> I'm dope with charm now with my experience, so let's go. <laughs> All right, so who's who's going and wh how are you going? Are you going down the spiral stairs? I think we or, have to go down the quicker, spiral right? stairs to yeah. bust through the... <laughs> to bust through the, bust to bust the through the... All right, who's going okay. first? Um, you going? Yeah, I'll go. Roll a dexterity saving throw. I'm just kidding, that's a different game. <laughs> you go first, Morty, and you're about to bust through and you put your hands on it and it's on a hinge. It just swings oh. open. It's the yeah, painting. Like, You're in the master bedroom. Punch yeah. the painting. Yeah, if you okay. want, I you still can. destroy the painting. Okay. Good like painting. School football okay. game. Yeah. Just, like, <laughs> it's a moral quandary because yeah. after all, they are technically your clients who are going to pay you. But well, I mean, well, we've already partially eaten uh, sure. someone in the basement. So, yeah, sure. and we broke their door. Okay. Like, oh. So you were in the master. Who else is going with Morty? I'm going with him. Okay. So Ryder and Morty, you guys go down. Yeah. yeah. Anyone else? Only you? Are you guys going to talk to Vinny? Yeah. yeah we're I gonna... feel like I'm going to also go with you yeah. to talk to Vinny. Okay. In He'll case I need that. to uh, uh, read his thoughts. Okay. So Viv and John Johnson are going to stay mm -hmm. in the, what do you want to call this room? The secret room. The oh, secret the room. Because it is a secret room. Yeah. Good name. Yeah. All right. So you two, uh, three, sorry, you go down, you're in the master bedroom, mm -hmm. and whew, all the way down the hallway is the bathroom and Vinny's room. So you start walking down the hallway. Yep. One moment. Smash cut back up to you guys in the secret room. What are you doing? Um, Viv? Well, you you said there's statues, like little statues and stuff, right? Yeah, there's like bat statues. Yeah. There's like little statues of a, like a Mayan warrior that kind of look like 
the big statue that's in the attic. There's uh, books about, you know, I mean, there's a ton of stuff. And you, you guys, like, a lot of those books you pulled out and I presume, like, sat down on the table and, like, paged through them, so. I want to check out the, like, the little statues. Like, are they, like, voodoo doll some of style? Them, some of them, but a lot of them are carved from different materials, wood and stone sandstone, quartz, uh, some of them even might even be like valuable like jade and stuff like that. Do they seem to have a purpose or is it just like someone's odd little collection? It, it looks like maybe just an odd collection Okay. because it's very also related to kind of what the contents of all the books are related to. I want to keep an eye out on the hole we came through. Oh, with, um, your, with your flashlight? Yeah. Oh, you I guys mean, turn on the light to the well, end. Yeah, but also, like, are the bats still freaking yeah, so out you, the you other you go, side you of the Yeah, so you, like, go look through the hole, yeah. and you peek out. You see a few bats off in the distance, but the curious thing that you don't see is the big statue. Oh, great. You cool. see the pedestal. Yeah, the statue's gone. I'm not, but the I'm statue's not aware, not like, there. the statue's yep. obviously missing. It's, it's not there. Oh, I'll relay that to Vivian then, mm -hmm. and, uh... We have like phones working in this whole thing, right? Yeah. Like maybe sure. I'll let everyone else know. Like, group call, text. call more. Do you guys get a group yeah. text that's yeah. like, "Hey, the statue's missing." Yeah. Knew it. Oh, and also, could I like <laughs> look further into that? Like, any markings of like a statue like physically moving or someone <laughs> moving it? That's an excellent thing. I won't even make you roll. You walk out there. Yeah. You see the spot where its feet were, are like, it's like clean. And then there's like attic dust on all of the rest of the pedestal. You look on the floor, there's no like footprints. Do you look up? You look up. Yeah, I, I, I'll assume <laughs> yeah, you're, I mean, pretty, <laughs> you're pretty you're pretty sure. Yeah, he's not like right above yeah. you. Okay. Um, you. You even <laughs> aim down into the dark and you see the colony kind of like, eh, like, mm -hmm. you know, sort of yeah. fade away from your light. How big was the statue again? Like it was pretty good size. Yeah, like, yeah. like, like Eight feet yeah, tall. Yeah, okay. Big. All right, yeah, I'm going to relay this information to everyone that we got an eight foot tall statue that disappeared and with uh, no, uh, you know, sign of it going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Do the rest of the bats in this attic seem to be phased that we are milling around or. They don't come to attack you. They stay, they just move further away when he's like flashing his light. Okay. Kind of. So they're not acting odd per se. Not in like an aggressive, threatening way. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not yet. I mean, not no. I'm gonna get my gun ready too. Just okay. To yeah. All right. Just I mean, it's yeah. fair. Okay. Yeah. Cut back to you guys. You're at the end of the hallway. Uh, the bathroom door is open. Vinny's door is closed. Bedroom door. I mean, we've gotten the group text. Yeah. The stack is missing. Um. Do we just go still knock on the door? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we knock on the door. Any response from Vinny? Uh, no. You're like, nothing. The do door... We, do we have all the keys? Do you try to handle? It's, yeah. It's not locked. Handle. Okay. Like it's... Okay. You open the door. Yep. It's dark. It's you, you see, like, right inside the door is like a nightstand and a bed. And you see, like, covers and pillows. But no Vinny. Do you turn the light on? Yes. Yeah. Light switch right inside the door. Flip mm -hmm. the light on. Ceiling light comes on. You see a nicely appointed bedroom with a closet and dressers and stuff. Um, in the in the far side from the door are like windows that face outside, and the curtains are drawn. And you see Vinny standing there, but his back is turned to you. It looks like he's looking out the window, like you know how if somebody's standing by the window looking out the window, except the window's not open and the curtains are closed but he has his back to you. He's just standing very still. We're gonna read a bad situation. Please do. Six plus two is eight. Well, the first thing that you think about is that it's probably not normal for a man to be naked in the dark of his room, oh, he's staring naked. at a window for which the curtains are closed and not moving or responding when people come in, turn on a light. It's a lot of assumption from you. That's not yeah. Isn't this the same? This was the same thing 
The same way the butler was acting down in the basement. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. minus, yeah, yeah. clothes on. Yeah. No, we didn't. <laughs> the butler, the when butler we were down there. definitely had clothes on. Now when he was dead, though. Now when he was dead. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. Do I get to ask one of these questions for reading? Sure. Ask um, away. Are there any dangers we haven't noticed aside from a naked man <laughs> <laughs> with his back? Pretty dangerous. Um, you don't see any other dangers in this room. Uh, um, what are you two uh, doing since you're also there? I'm going to try to manipulate something. Yeah, I was, I was like trying to see if I could. Uh, Talk to him since okay. he's not. That doesn't talking. require a dice roll, so go ahead. Can he hear me? Can he talk to me? So what do you say? Why are you looking out the window? No Why, are you, no <laughs> Why are you naked? No response. Why are you naked? Step Man, away from the window. House. Step away from the window. No response. Can you hear me? No response. Can I push him? Yeah, I was gonna say. Can we you walk that? across the room to push him. Go yeah, touch the naked like, man out like, the window. Or? No, like okay. like shove him to. Yeah. No response. You, do you kind of like step to the side? Yeah. His eyes are open like this, and he has an utterly blank stare on his face. He's just like, like you do this. Nothing. No reaction. Um. Can I manipulate him to like break his trance? Mm, you could. Yeah, I'm gonna try doing that. What do you do to manipulate him to break his? I, in my mind, say, "Hey, talk to me." Mm. Let's go ahead and make that roll. In your mind, you're a good one. Is that? Does that? Oh, that would be a five. Yeah, yeah it's definitely a five. That's a five. You you kind of tried to enter his mind, similarly to, to how you did with James the butler. And you see at first, like, through his eyes, you see that same sort of haze around his, his vision, as if it's kind of cloudy. Mm -hmm. um, you're not getting memories, though but he is definitely under something's mind control. But then you hear something speaking to you. Oh. And it's, it doesn't seem like Vinny mentally speaking to you. It seems like something else. And it's whispering in a language that's strange. You can understand it, but at the same time, you're like, this is clearly some other language, but mentally you can understand it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's it's whispering to you, and it says, "I'll all be sacrificed. Your blood will be mine. I'll all be sacrificed. Your blood will be mine. Your blood will be mine." I'm gonna tell you what I really want to do, and that is leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Um. Well, I'm gonna relay that information to uh, Morty and Ryder. Okay, she explains yeah. what she just heard. Yeah. Go ahead, do that in character. Okay. They want to sacrifice us. He wants our blood. Oh, cool. Okay. So. Cool, cool. Winds up. Winds up. Can you figure out how to not be a sacrifice? Very soon. Right? Are you? Did you walk over there? Yeah, I walked with, with her. Okay. I want to try to manipulate him, but in a very Ryder way, which is just like this backhand him to wake him up. Fair enough. Like slap him upside the head. Yeah, a little bit. You're like, or like a lot of it. Like a tap or like a no. Smack. Like I'm going in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired you of this family. You slap the shit out of him. Yeah. And he falls. <laughs> okay. And when he hits the floor, you see he kind of like, he's like, oh, what the hell, man? Uh, oh. And he's like, why the hell are you in my room? He's like, why, why am I naked? What the hell? And he like grabs a sheet off the bed so and pulls it over himself. So many good questions. He's like, what do you guys want, man? What? Oh, what is going on? Why am I on the floor? Why are you summoning gods? He goes, what? I, we found your family secret room, man. 
I love this interrogation. This is yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> You see he looks at you, and there's like some pause, and he says, did you find my mother? No, why? Where's your mother? <laughs> now goes, I'm confused. He, he goes, I, I don't know, man. Who else knows about the room? We all know about the room. All five of us know. We got a group he, text. <laughs> he stands up and basically wraps the sheet around himself like Toga style. And he, he says, he says, listen, man, I, I, I really don't know what's going on, but when I was a kid, I, I was running around the house and like exploring stuff. And this is like back when my dad was still alive and, and I, I was playing hide and seek and I, I my parents were always strict. They didn't mind us having fun, but like we were always told to never, ever, ever go into their bedroom. So I figured, because I was a kid, that like the only way that I would, you know, win hide and seek against my sister and my brother is if I like went in their bedroom. So I went in and I hid under their bed. And, and I was under their bed for like 20 minutes and I could hear my sister and my brother running around the house trying to find me. And, but I, I, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna win. Well then, then I heard like this creaking noise. And um, I, I like looked from under the bed and I could see like the painting move. And I saw my mom's feet like come down these stairs. And then she like left. So when she was gone, like I, I got out from under the bed and I went behind the painting. There was like these stairs that went up and I, I went up there and there's this room. And, and it's got all this like weird stuff in it. And and I didn't know what it was or anything, but I, I didn't want to get in trouble. So I went back down the stairs and I got out in the hallway just in time, just before my mom came back up the stairs to the second floor. And I never told anybody this because I was terrified of being in trouble. I don't know if my brother and sister know about that room, but. Do your parents have any friends that would come over often? Well, yeah. I mean, they're rich people. They used to, like, when they were younger, they would have huge, like, parties and stuff. But, like, were there, like, three really close friends? Then he stops and he's like, I mean, yeah, kind of. Like, I kind of remember, like, back when my dad was still alive, they used to have they would have like, you know, some friends that would just come over and like usually they would just hang out in like the front parlor or sometimes they would go back into my dad's office, his study, you know, like, um, yeah, there were, there were a few that used to hang out, um, like Mr. Jessup, he was one of them. Uh, there was a woman named like Colleen something and then uh, another person, um, his name something Mr. Vance was his name you need to get out of this house like what, as what quickly as on, possible man? did you guys find my mom we didn't find your mom whatever killed your mom is coming after killed? you killed wait what are you talking about man <laughs> you gotta go dude killed you gotta get out put on some clothes go and, outside and, and, all right and now I'm gonna have you make a manipulate one some Someone, okay. but I will say this. I'm gonna give you a plus one to your roll because you executed that scene <laughs> perfectly. Um, go ahead and make a, a manipulate someone. It's a charm roll. Okay, well I'm gonna use my new ability of unnatural appeal where I get to use a uh, weird instead of my charm. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> uh, six, nine, plus one, 10. You, you're convincing and, and he is you could tell that he's like shocked at what you're saying and kind of scared. So he's just like, oh, all right, fine, man. Like, let me get my clothes on. And he, he goes over to his dresser and he grabs like some underwear and a pair of jeans and some uh, shirt and stuff. And he starts putting, getting dressed. And a few moments later, he comes out in the hallway and he's like, listen, man, I, I don't know what you guys have found, but I'm telling you, like, 
I, I don't know anything about what's going on. Seriously, I just, I, I, I believe you, bro, but you gotta go. <laughs> it's like, is it safe for me to go out to my car? Like, you know, get to your car as quickly as you can and drive like, away. Will you like, go with me, man? Like, I'm not like packing sure. or anything. I'm not like a, Are you gonna right. go alone? I mean, with you him? guys going with? Well, we got You're a all group here for text. This. Well, we got a group text. So we got this. <laughs> there is a crazy. Yeah, there's a statue walking around yeah. the house, and you're like well, we just walking around the car. Just let him go. Wasn't there a statue by the front door? Who was there a statue? In like the. Front? There, there was a large cat, like a you know, a, uh, I don't mean like a domestic cat, like, like a like tigerish. A, yes, yeah. like yeah. a. You weren't really sure exactly what it was, but yes, it's some kind of cat. Is that statue still there? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could see that. Like, you can look down the stairs; it's still there. That'd be awesome if it wasn't, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> my God, 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 God. Um, <laughs> So you walk him down the stairs. You yeah. go around the corner. You're on the first floor. You go out that side door. You could see, like, the minute he walks out on the porch, it's like motion sensor lights and and security cameras, and and he looks back and he's like, Hey, hey, listen, man, just. Just try to find my mom. I hope she's okay. And he's like, thanks. And, and he grabs his keys from his pocket. And he, you see he kind of like quickly walks and then runs to his car, jumps in his car, starts the car, and starts driving down the driveway, clicks the clicker. You see the gate open. He drives out on the street. Gate closes about 10 seconds later. You notice something else. Is, is it Carlton? Is he still out there? You notice a man well-dressed man <laughs> standing out on the sidewalk just outside of the gate well, it seems out. like he was looking at the house and definitely no noticed Vinny driving out past him and probably you he seem upset that Vinny's leaving no no he has a very neutral expression just staring at the house is he under a spell too do, do we you want to go... make a roll for that spooky? yes yes I do Let's see it. Well, if he is, you're gonna have to go slap him. I mean, he's in your. Oh, you can see him people. out there for a moment. You know, when those motion sensor lights by the gate go on, you you see him. Would this be why I manipulate someone? Because or no, can you like read? I think one of your specials. Oh yeah, he's got like your telepathy. Um, okay. That, that was a th that was that was a three. Yeah. Remember that even failures in this game are good as you rack up experience. Um, you read his mind? Yeah. Actually. It's a very similar thing. Hazy perception. Hazy perception. Inner voice whispering to you. Right, or are you gonna go slap yeah, him? I'm gonna you need to go, go like slap else. him awake and like tell him to leave. <laughs> I don't know. Do we have to bring oh, him wait. into the house? No, maybe we shouldn't bring him into the house. I have a question. So it's no secret that there was a blood stain, and the mom was found in her bedroom. But Vinny's mm -hmm. like, find my mom. Like I just want to make sure she's mom, okay. Well, she disappeared. Was she dead when he found her? Oh, yeah. I guess. She was obviously injured and unconscious, but remember yeah. he 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 nine one one to that. So, and she yeah okay. So Vinny doesn't know what happened to mom. Yeah. Do you go slap this guy away? Yeah, let's go. You guys walk outside. <laughs> yeah, I'm a slapping. Okay, dude, just standing uh, outside. You start too. walking your way down the grounds. It's yeah. a you remember mm -hmm. vast smash cut back to the inside attic. How much time has passed? <laughs> Many minutes. What do you want to do? Like you could literally go down and meet them. Yeah. I well, I'm we concerned that this stand. like statue is right. like gone. So I think we should regroup then, because if we don't know where the statue went. So it's like, what good is us staying upstairs? Yes, and yeah. I've already told them through the group text that we are becoming sacrifices. Okay. I just feel weird leaving this like room by itself because this is clearly like a hub for something. Or but no one's up there. Like nothing was touched. Yeah, but yeah, stuff is going down. Too. So, are they going to be coming to the space to? Well, who? I, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's who we're trying to figure out. I think the statue got up and walked away. So that's why. 
Yeah. Where's the statue? I mean, for sure. Yeah. Because he could change his shape. Oh, but that's into a bat. Was it just everything he could change his shape into? It was bat and warrior it was your man. Shadows. Bat and warrior man. Yeah, but it could teleport, yeah. Yeah. Between shadows. I vote for a regrouping because... Yeah. Will we regroup outside or regroup upstairs? Not outside. What are well, we doing? Outside, what are we security lights. We're safe. Yeah. In the light. What are we doing with that? Then? He's already slapped the guy. Well, where are you? So I, mean, I just need to know what you two do for the five minutes that they were talking to Vinny and then escorting him. Yeah, downstairs. nothing else happened upstairs. I'm going to tell Vinny, and we should meet up with the rest of the group downstairs. Yeah. Okay. You guys go downstairs. So around the same time as Vinny's driving off, you guys kind of show up. And, and you see the motion sensor lights and the gate, and then outside of the gate is Carlton Jessup, and you, you see Sarah kind of concentrate for a moment, and she's like, mm, not good. So you guys are not yet outside. You're, on, you're by the side porch and the stairs that would go towards the, the garage and the, the driveway. Morty, what happened with Vinny? <laughs> Well, he was naked. Uh, <laughs> good start. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then Ryder slapped him uh, with his hand. Um, Thank God. <laughs> um, yeah, no, he was possessed or he was, you know, being in a trance or something. So, but we slapped him awake and so sent him on his way. We really don't know if something has to be physically like possessing people. Or it's just like just the area they're in. Like we haven't really deduced that, have we? Because not, no, nothing nothing seems. We're still trying to find what the God order. is. Vinny, the, right? Yeah. We're still trying to find whatever's been summoned, or right. Yeah. Um, kind of the loss of like what? What do we even grab? Well, we've next? got a statue that's roaming around. Right. So like, where, where do we look for that? Like it just disappeared. <laughs> well, it couldn't have gone downstairs. I mean, it's got to be upstairs, but. Batland. Well, yeah, uh, you know. Do we, do we mm. Go back scouring well, so the did we, again. Did we deal with the man outside, Jesse? Well, he's getting or? slapped. Right? Oh yeah, okay. I'm about to slap. Him. Okay. okay. <laughs> you see this? You see them get to the gate. You press the open button. The gate opens. Carlton Jessup's just staring at the house blankly. You give him the slap. Yeah. Smack! He falls to the ground. He's like an older guy too. He's like, ah. He's like, ah. break a hip. He's like, what? He's like, who are you? What? Why? What am I doing here? And he's like well dressed, like as if he's going somewhere. He was going to the. He was going to the gala. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know about the secret room in this house? <laughs> yeah, you do. He looks at you and he's like, who are you? You don't need to know who I am, bro. Tell me about the room. What did you guys do in there? He's like, I, I will not see anything. Show some identification if you're an officer of the law. Otherwise, you could speak directly with yeah, my lawyer. Say, I'll show you my identification. Look, like backhand just hit him again. Okay. He, he's like, ah. Oh. You knock him up against the fence. I'm going to have you make a manipulate someone because yeah. basically your manipulation is intimidation. Right. We can make it fun. Uh, I'm using that plus three on that weird dude. Uh, that's a nine. Okay. <laughs> he's he's like, ah, please, no more. I'll, I'll tell you. What, what is it? What, what, it, it? It's a meeting room. A, a group of us met there. We, we, we were had an interest in in certain sorts of folklore and mythology, and we would convene there frequently. Uh, what be, what started as as an interest became an obsession for some of us, I would say. Specifically, Catherine and her late husband. Did you perform any ceremonies in there? What? No. No it's only an academic interest, at least on my part. I left the group many years ago. After Henry's death, I was not interested in that sort of thing, and Catherine had become different somehow. She was 
obsessed. Do we know how Henry died? Henry died? He had a heart attack. Yeah. Give you the same courtesy I gave Vinny. You it gotta was, go. It, it was academic. You gotta why leave. I am more than happy to go. I was on my way home from the gala, which was an extraordinary celebration. And I don't remember how I came to be here. This, this thing's got like a crazy reach. <laughs> <laughs> well, but he was previously involved. That's true. Sure. Are we gonna purely to Colleen? Oh, yeah. What were the other people? Colleen and Van. Yeah, tell me about the other people that were in this group. Well, Colleen Wexler and Richard Vance. Richard hosted the gala at his estate tonight. Where's Richard's estate? He tells you the address. He's 1326 Walnut. It's like on the north side of Oak Park in the old mansion district. I just made up that address. I don't even know if it's real. If it is real and it's your house, I'm sorry. Um, he, he says, have you heard from Catherine? Is she home? She was supposed to attend the gala, but she did not show up. That's why we're here. I see. There hasn't been any sort of foul play, has there? None that you need to be concerned with. Just, sir, you need to be on your way. Thank you for your time. Very well. He nods, and then he walks off. We got to go to Vance's house, like, now. Do we? Do we? <laughs> Do we have less than two I, hours. Yeah. We have less we than an to. hour and a half. Yeah, that's true. I think I've got a boat. Maybe we should. You guys are still standing yeah, out by the street. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we, and we're on the, the only porch. remaining activity we've cleared the, the motion house. sensor light turns off because the gate hasn't moved in, mm -hmm. in a few minutes since oh, you've good. had that conversation, so it's pretty dark. Possession time. You go upstairs. I mean, the only you guys are still on the front porch, right. or the side porch rather. Yeah. Right. So the lights are on. Right. The only activity has been up in the attic. Like, I mean, we've cleared the rest yeah. of the house. It's just, I mean, this thing could be anywhere. You know, what Lord of Shadows or whatever, and it's like shadow and death. Like, I just, I don't know where, what our next angle should be. Was there anything in the books? Burn, burn down the house that were in that room that showed that same statue and had any information on that statue in particular? What was the result of your investigate mystery role when you did that? Regarding the... Was it higher than a 10 when you were looking through the, the, he, the secret room? Yeah, it was I 10 got because 10. I got to ask. Okay. It was a 10. I will say that in one of those books, remember how I described that some of the books that were older had like very grainy black and white pictures mm -hmm. of temples? One of those black and white pictures of one of those temples found in the jungle in one of those archaeology books had a statue that was just like that. In fact, it might have been that very same statue. Mm. Okay, so we gotta go find that statue. Think like a statue. Huh? As you guys are talking about this, right? Yeah. I need both of you to make a act under pressure roll. I'm not good at that. Uh, seven. Eleven. You hear something? Like, it sounds like flapping wings above you. And then a big, black, shadowy form. And I don't mean big like the bats you saw. I meant like maybe eight foot in length. Flies out towards you. You duck at just the right time. 
you take one harm as it claws you, knocking you up against the fence. And and it, it was like a strafe, like it flew by, right? Because of your high roll, you ducked, you saw this thing. It basically looked like a shadow version of the Mayan warrior statue that was in the attic, but with wings, big black bat wings. It flies past, claws you, and flies off into the darkness. Don't you have like something about? Oh, I have a thing. I didn't take any damage because yeah. I take one less than one of them. Yeah, I'm supposed to. Yeah, yeah. So you pull yourself up from yeah. the fence. You don't see anything. We don't see like what direction it went. Oh yeah, you saw what direction yeah. it went. You look up in the moonlit sky, but you don't see anything. We just release a demon. Outside? Like yeah. How do we draw it back in <laughs> now? Advance it now. <laughs> yeah. We chase it. Is it following oh, Vinny? God. Ooh, yeah. Do we know if it's going in the same direction as Vinny? I mean, Vinny's been gone for a, for yeah. a, for a minute. A, yeah. For a while, because you guys were sitting there talking to Carlton Jessup for yeah. a few minutes. I think it's You guys out didn't see now. this. Mm. Actually, <laughs> what you saw, because like, you saw the motion lights go off, and then you're like talking about things like, is that statue the same as the one that we saw in the picture? And then you hear like, huh! And like you heard something. Mm-hmm. That huh was you. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Uh, can we tell if it's going towards Vance's house? Like in that general direction? You know what? It did. No. No? It, it, it flew down. Swiped you and, and like, flew up. past, so took it's off. kind of go- going like east, let's say. Okay. I think it's just pissed that you're you're asking um, questions. Can we, yeah, can you're we, can we lure it back in some way, like to fight it? Because it's gone. Well, do you think there's yeah. still like the physical? Like, it, is it tied to something physical, like the statue? I think this is house? like its hub. Right. You know, is it the mom? Is it the mom? Can one of us get possessed? <laughs> By it? To bring it here? Seems like a spooky, spooky thing. type yeah. thing. Yeah. Spooky thing. Could I? I mean, what? Read its mind and try and tell it to come back here? If you knew you where can, it was. You sure. can use no. magic to summon a monster into the world. I can do that? Oh, we can banish a spirit or curse. An object you, or a place it in hand. Do you think going back up to the attic and thrashing like the bats and stuff <laughs> up there by some well, bats? Yeah, and so like off. if if it was summoned I say we go back inside and start using some magic, because it's gone. Like he's gone. I said we go back and we turn off all of the lights. I feel like we're missing something. Oh definitely. <laughs> I wouldn't say that you're missing something. There are, I would say that there are a lot of things out there, and there are several things that you could do. And you've mentioned all of them, actually. Yeah, I said you've literally go back inside. Like of all the of the activity is do. in the attic. Let's go we back need inside. To go back to inside the attic. attic. Turn off like, all the okay. lights. Kill some bats. Okay, okay, so you text them. You guys come back into the the estate. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. guys get back into the house. Yep. Go up to the attic. Okay. You go back up to the attic. Yeah. Uh, to the secret room. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter anymore yeah. since you yeah. blew a hole through the wall. <laughs> yep. Um, okay. So you guys get back up to the attic. You go to the secret room. Yep. When you get back up to the attic, the pedestal is still bare. The statue is not there. Let's flip that switch. Turning off all the lights? I say we turn off the lights. Okay. If that gets this thing back. Yeah. Okay. You guys are sitting <laughs> in the secret room at the table. All five of us. Oh, I think. Yeah. 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 Let's so take a well, seat. Right? Yeah. I'm going to use and you take turn a off seat. all the lights. Yeah. Hands. Yeah. I'm going to use magic because you can communicate. And this might be better for spooky over there. Communicate with something that you do not share a language with. Try Are you to trying to like back. help to each other do this? 
So I need to know like who's doing the help out and who's doing the the use magic. I think I, that I it would, would make more sense for her to use the magic to do that. So and then I will help. Okay, so you roll the help out roll first. Nat ten. All right, that's going to add a one to your roll for use magic, which is a weird roll. Uh, eight. With the one? Plus is nine. Very good. On a seven to nine, use magic works imperfectly. Choose your effect and a glitch. The keeper will relish this moment for the rest of his life. Oh, I'm sorry. The keeper <laughs> will decide what effect the glitch has. So effects, you can so. inflict harm, you can enchant a weapon, you could do one thing that is beyond human limitations, you can bar a place or portal to a specific person or type of creature. You could trap a specific person, minion or monster. You could banish a spirit or curse from the person, object, or place it inhabits. You could summon a monster into the world. You can communicate with something that you do not share a language with. You can observe another place or time. You can heal a harm. And then I get to choose glitches. Just one. So... Because we want to get it back. Yeah, so I say and we, we want to trap it. We, well, I don't want to like summon. <laughs> There's already enough monsters. No, it's already like, summoned. It. It's already been summoned. But it's not here. It. Well, then I would either say trap or banish. I imagine we'd have to have it here, though, for that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or communicate. Or like. It's your call, Spooky. You're the one that gets to do it. Do one thing that is beyond human limitations. You can just kind of say whatever. That's what I was, I was and, thinking. And or the, the do one thing that's beyond human limitations is usually something that's like a physical feat. Okay. Oh, okay. Like jump over a 15 foot wall or yeah. smash through a concrete bunker. You know, like physical things. If right, I right, like communicate right. with them, can I just be like, like if I use come that back. as like a come back here? PT phone. <laughs> Type thing or so you're kind of asking him to <laughs> communicate with it's like it. you're luring it. Yeah. Luring it. Yeah. Okay. You're seducing it. How, tell me what your lure is. Like mentally you're talking to it. And tell me kind of what thinking about what the, you think this thing is, what is your lure? Like what are you hey, baby. what's the bait? <laughs> what is I, the bait? Well, Vivi said we're already all sitting in like the five chairs. He already wants to sacrifice us. So could we be like, we're here for your sacrifice? Oh yeah, that'll work. <laughs> <I'm just gonna laughs> okay. yeah. Who's got a knife? I I can take a cut mm -hmm. and not take harm. You you guys are sitting there in darkness. Yes. Jesus Christ. Close Fair your enough. eyes, all of you, oh, like no. in actuality. Yeah, yeah. Close your oh, eyes. Feeling. And this is you. It's dead silent for quite a few moments as Sarah is concentrating, and then you hear this sound in the other room, like a rush of wind like in the other side of the attic. That's all you hear. Like, swoosh. I'll add that in and post. Swoosh sound. Okay, that's it. You can open up your eyes. I'm assuming that some of you are curious and want to know what that was. Yeah. yeah Who's going to go look through the hole in the wall? I got my flashlight. <laughs> John Johnson, yeah. fearless investigator and professional, pops open his mag light, walks over, looks. The statue is indeed a statue, and it's back on the pedestal. Well. It looks like it's made out of actual, you know, like metal. Normal, yeah. 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 Brought him back. Can we, can we carry that into the room? Can we slap a statue? Do we slip the statue? <laughs> <laughs> is this statue just like part of it or just like a medium or is it, it's using? To just... Yeah, like or the vessel or a... Uh, yeah. Um, Do we have a way of discerning that? Mr. Can Magic we people? bring the statue into the, onto the table? Like into the... From my understanding, this thing was massive. Well, it's eight feet in metal, feet. so I imagine it weighs. It's got to uh, weigh yeah, a lot. Yeah, you are not moving. Yeah. Okay. Unless you did some superhuman thing. Mm. Um, well, I mean, we got a, you know, pissed off god back in the building. What are we doing now? 
Indeed. What are you? We didn't think this far ahead. Set off some more. Well, should we go about what? summoning it and get it? thing now? Like, yeah, with some magic. I feel like magic's our main forte right now. Could yeah, we come yeah. up with a trap? So, like, we summon it, but then we're trapping it. That sounds well, good to me. Well, that's the trap. Can we trap it in the statue so it doesn't ever leave again? It's a bit out of my element, so I'm kind of just. <laughs> What can we do? <laughs> Any of us Start can do the punching. magic, right? To I trap it? So. Yeah. I got a plus three on that. So. Start, start punching bats. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, do, yeah, do, do that and I can... Well, wasn't one of the magics like, like, bar it in an area or something? Or like... Um, you can... Bar a place or portal to a specific person or type of oh, creature. Oh well, yeah. Um, so, like, can we trap it? Vivi, well, yeah. There's a trap. A specific roll two person dice and minion. tell me what the result is. Don't add anything or subtract anything. Seven. It occurs to you that you had this thought previously. You questioned why would the family have called and hired you if they were involved in this and your your gut instinct keeps telling you that the family especially after your encounter with Vinny is not involved in this ding dong you hear the doorbell ring downstairs is that the police are we out of time it is not yet dawn is it Colleen is it Richard Vance? Ding. Who's going Dong. to open that door? Well, I get, I'll go down there and answer the door. I'll go with. We'll go together, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys go to the door and you see the eldest son of um, Catherine Testamento, Ricardo, where previously he looked immaculately well dressed and with his hair and beard perfectly quaffed, he looks a little bit disheveled. He's sweaty. His hair is all messed up. And and he he sees you like as you look through, and he says, "Quickly!" And he look he keeps looking behind himself. He's like, "Open the door! I don't have my keys." Open the door. Opening the door. <laughs> he he pushes past you, closes the door, and locks it. He says, where's, he's like, where's James? I, I must know. He's like, something bad has happened. He's dead. What? No. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, that's him, out there now. Ask him what bad has happened. Oh. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> he, he's looking at you, he's like, what? what? What's the bad? <laughs> What's the bad? What's the bad? <laughs> What's the bad? <laughs> Richard Vance died tonight, shortly before the end of the gala. He was at the gala, he was completely fine. And at some point he stepped away, perhaps to freshen up. His body was found in a room by himself on the floor as if he had fallen and there was a blood stain on the carpet. Was there a body there? Yes. His family called the police, but they waited until after the gala. They didn't want to make any disturbances. But I happened to be there talking with Richard's daughter about some business transactions. He's like, quite peculiar, wouldn't you say? Yes. He says, so tell me, you've been here all night, and now you've just said that James, our butler, is dead? What in hell is going on? Morty, huh? There is something <laughs> afoot, and you people must know something. We're trying we're to figure it out. It. We're working on it. We've got a couple leads. We're upstairs in the attic. Listen, I was leaving the gala and going to my car, and something, I don't know what, flew overhead. 
and nearly tore my head off. I tried to get in my car, it flew past me again. And he turns and he shows you the back of his dress coat is shredded, like raked. And you see like thin, like blood, like it, it scratched him. And he's like, I left my car and ran here the entire way. What the hell is going on? I'm trying to process. I mean, I'm trying to tell. Yeah, tell them what the truth. parents were involved in. Yeah. I mean, they did hire us. Like, yeah. Your parents have a weird rum. <laughs> <laughs> what? We discovered this hidden rum. It's not the kind you normally think. As you guys are gauging his reaction, you could tell that he like has no idea what you're talking about. Or he's a supremely good liar, like sociopath level liar. But he's like, ah, what room, where, and where in the hell is James? You said James, he's dead? James what happened? James is in the basement. Mm -hmm. James is in the basement. We found James hanging <clears throat> on the ceiling. Am I not supposed to tell him? I, I'm being I mean, honest with him. Well. He says, tell me for the love of Christ. <laughs> James was hanging on the ceiling, draining out blood. We don't know what happened. He was spewing weird words. We took him down. That was the end of that. Then we found this weird room on the other side of your parents' massive painting in their bedroom, and that's where we're at right now. Good. <laughs> oh, and there was a weird man outside, too, that hung out with your parents in this weird room, too. What weird man? What was his name? Jessup. Jessup. Does that ring Carlton a bell? Carlton Jessup? He was at the sure. ball tonight. Well, he was hanging around here, too. So. Looking for your mom. This is unbelievable. Where is my brother, Vinny? Away. <laughs> <laughs> we sent him away because... He was possessed. He, yes. We found him possessed in a what? window. And naked. And we naked. Stand naked. And we slap yeah. him out of it. <laughs> the collective we. He Richard reaches into his pocket and he's he goes, uh. Oh. And he's like you see him responding to text messages and, and just like over his shoulder you see like Vinny has like spammed him with like thirty text messages and he's like <laughs> oh. And he's like scrolling through, he's like, uh and then he texts something really quick and he sends it. Oh well, Vinny's probably still alive. <laughs> <laughs> You do realize that the police are going to be here in a matter of less than an hour. This, whatever happened here tonight, is absolutely unacceptable. We need to make sure that there's no further issues with the police or entanglements, which I believe a dead body would far and above trump a, a secret weird room that my parents may or may not have maintained. Take me to this body now. Let's go. All right. Say we leave him out. No, I'll say we leave him out because we got other stuff to deal he with. He says, I am paying you. This is not a discussion. And he brushes past you and starts walking down the hall towards the basement. This way. <laughs> he walks to the basement door, opens it up, flips the light on, you hear him walking down the stairs. Are you guys staying where you are by the front door? Are you following? Can we close the basement door and yep, keep him lock, downstairs? Yeah, lock him in the basement. Him. Get him, just get him out of the way. Lock I mean, him in the basement. Just to be clear, this is not D&D, &D, so he does have a cell phone, but that's fine. Also, like, we're risking him just getting killed, too, if we just lock him in the basement. That's, that's the his plan. problem. I think that's also, the plan. slam. The door gets slammed. The butler was, like, mildly mutilated by me. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> well, he can discover that <laughs> A few moments own. later, you hear him yell, What the hell is all of this? Get down here! You can hear him from, like, downstairs. He's like, What is this strange chalk all over the floor, and why... Who did this? This is, who's defaced my family's home? This might be a basement, but have you people no respect? These are the cards we were oh, dealt, so. The body so. <laughs> oh, is it gone? Well, he wasn't yelling well, about the body. He was yelling about the Oh, well, let's go down there and huh? see what's going on. The body's gone? No, but we we'll just locked him down there. We're not gonna go there we're and be like, oh, the sorry we're about at the that. Door. He doesn't know we locked the door. He never came back. I mean, fair enough. He heard it slam, but he didn't know that you were See? trying. He didn't know what your intent was. Back. We're running out of time. Okay, We've so got like 45 minutes. What do you do? 
pressure's on. I say we go down there because he's not yelling about a body. He's yelling about chalk on the you ground. You go down there? Yeah. You can go. So we go down. I'm going down too because okay. like, what else are we going to do? You go down the stairs. You walk down to the yep. spot. You see the circle, the chalk, the yep. candles. There's no chalice, there's no blood, and there's no body. Cool. Okay. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, is this part of your strange uh, 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 metaphysical I I investigations? What the Viv hell is this? Viv has a weird sense of humor, and no. she misspoke about the body. <laughs> Someone needs to clarify what's going on. We are working on it. We got some stuff going on. We're going to leave you alone. This we is gotta why go back I upstairs. didn't want to. He walks past door. you and goes upstairs. Oh, God. Mm. Way to go. We could have kept safe. him down there and you opened this can of worms. Jeez. <laughs> You're the one that told him there's a dead body. <laughs> okay. Uh, everything, all the activities still upstairs. I say we go back upstairs and like deal with the bats or something. I mean, we're like, we summoned him back. Like, the statue's back, his vessel's back. Like, we gotta do something upstairs. We need yeah. to like, I mean, can we just break the statue, make it crumble? Knock it over, push it over, push it over, this? yeah. Or do we have any. You guys go back up the attic. Yeah. 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 We need to destroy the statue. Can we gotta well, convince this yeah. guy to get out of this house. The statue Slash is still I'm there. Gonna. But when you guys go up to the attic, like the statue is still there. Nothing seems like changed or different or anything but it seems like maybe there are more bats um like the colonies crept closer and and only the single light bulb is kind of keeping them at bay can you talk thrower. to the bat we have a flamethrower <laughs> some we? of the bats are are like flying around like sort of circling when you guys kind of come up there i feel like i don't really have the ability to talk to animals. Do we have any I mean, you talked to cats the last time. But how'd that work out? Did it work out? No, they, Kinda did, worked they out. didn't talk. I, we need to start killing these things or banishing things or... Well, there's more bats than last time. If James is gone, that means this thing's power has grown. Thus, more bats. Can we, like, I don't know, create some large light force that's just, like, so bright that it stuns them and they all just drop. You you Phew. hear some oh, movement on the second Phew. floor. Like someone is on the second floor. Like you hear a door open. You hear some sounds like drawers maybe. Go investigate the sound. Do we know if it's like the son or yeah. is it what's his name? Ricardo. 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 Is it him or is it someone else? Do you, do you use your X-ray vision? Uh, we go and we look. Yeah. Okay, it's Ricardo. You see he's changed. Like he's taking off his shredded jacket. He's putting on another dress shirt and another coat. You see he like puts on a watch and, and he says, I am leaving the house. You have my contact information. Smart. So does James. Have him call me the minute that you have concluded whatever business that you've done here. I assume that you have not yet found my mother, which is disappointing. Your services will be covered, but I'm not staying here any further. We'll have James call you. He, you see, he he finishes putting on his jacket, grabs his car keys, goes downstairs. A few moments later, you hear engine of a car start and drive away. So he's upset that his mother is missing, but then he has enough time to go hang out at a gala and party. I'm just throwing that out. It's there. called keeping up appearances. Yeah. I don't know. Gallic things. Like someone died at the gala and they didn't do anything because they were keeping up appearances. Like, we're not rich <laughs> enough to understand. Yeah. I guess. Okay. All the stuff's in the attic. I say we need to do stuff in the attic. I, I really think we should do some of this more magic stuff. See if we can like pull this thing out to us or like trap it. Because right now. Well, we like just got yeah. it back. We heard a whoosh. Right. But like, then what? Like, and the I'm, vessel I'm came give back. You a small hint. Think about how you got it back. Right. What did you specifically do? We sat at the table. Lured it. But what did you specific? Yes, you lured it. What did you specifically use as bait? Were your sacrifices? Yeah. Us. There we uh, go. Yeah. That's my hint to you. Somebody and give me a go back to the table. 
Let's all sit at the table. Yeah. Let's are we all hold hands. I'm, are we we're holding gonna hands? cut me. <laughs> we cut Liam because he can only, he doesn't take I won't take the, the harm. harm. And I'll bleed and it'll bring uh, this thing out. And I have a blessed knife. There we go. Okay. So you're going to sacrifice some blood? Yeah. Where and to what? Into the chalice. Oh, we need well, to cut. should we do it at the table or should we do downstairs in the basement? No, the we're thing? upstairs. We're already here. Well, we just pour it on the tape. Remember yeah. that there is no chalice in the basement. Which yeah. is like there's no body yeah. of James. Gone. But the thing's longer. This thing's getting work done, so. Can you just dribble we, on the middle on of the table? On the, on the, just the, on wood the table. statue. On the table. On, on the, the statue. statue. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think we could kind of smear it all over until something works, too. Like, oh. <laughs> just stick them and let them bleed. Yeah. We're classy. Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me what you're doing. Like you're sacrificing. We're giving you Tell me what you do. <laughs> I want to. It's going to be so weird. I want to cut myself <laughs> and like just put it like right under the statue's nose so it gets like the smell of blood. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Like a decent amount? Yeah. Yeah, a pretty decent amount. Or it's blood like almost like dripping down. Okay. Yeah, like a milk mustache, but it's a blood <laughs> mustache. Uh, who is out there observing this? All Hi. of you? I think we're all up there. Yeah. yeah. I think we're okay. All you see that you see he smears the blood and for a few moments it's just you know some of it's stained blood some of it's kind of dripping down and then a very weird thing happens the blood sort of soaks into the statue which doesn't make sense because the statue's not made of a porous material but the blood soaks into the statue But nothing else changes with the statue other than that. Nothing. Were you like from an exorcism on the statue or something? <laughs> you, well, I would say without making a roll, Sarah has had enough experience with spirits to know that this isn't a spirit. Yeah. It's okay. not like a ghost or spirit. And you don't sense that the statue itself is possessed. Yeah. Can we use magic to banish banish a spirit or a curse from a object? What object? The statue. But the statue's just a statue. Clearly She not. knows that it's not a spirit. It's not a spirit. The house? The room? The bats? The bats are real. Yeah. He, he has proof. Oh, There's yeah. bat gore from his earlier <clears throat> bat massacre. Well, so you lured it here by promising a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. We're all around the table. So I think we either need to go back around the table or do something. Well, I mean, I don't know, because we were around the table. You think the table had anything to do with it? Well, okay, or we all need to stay in a circle, or we all need to... I well, you just there. saw that he smeared blood on it, and yeah. the statue absorbed the blood, right? Right. Yeah. Right. He did that. Right. Do we all have to... Is it you? I'm not going to answer that question. Is it you? No. What? What? <laughs> That would be the craziest. Christina, go ahead and ask the question that you were about <laughs> to ask. We all sacrifice. Like, do we all? So go ahead yep, and finish. We all the take a harm. Do we all have to put our blood on the statue? Because he wants all of us. Oh, yeah. You said sacrifice. we are pretty sacrifice. sure that you said yeah. a very specific phrase when you said bait, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So why not at this point? So we all we'll have to cut ourselves. Yeah, cut ourselves with blood. Everybody, time. take yeah. a harm. Those of you who already have harm, acquire a little taste more. One by one, you smear your blood onto the statue. And each in turn, your blood is absorbed into the statue. And then what? Does anything happen? Ding dong. I swear to God, it's Ricardo. Is it the sister? Ooh. Ding dong. 
Okay. Um, Are you going up to the door, you please? Messed you saw time. how that you was last up. time. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll, I'll I'll go go <laughs> it didn't go that bad. Come on. <laughs> How's the butler? He's dead. <laughs> Here's some cat hair. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's like in a, there's a in one of the games that many games that I run there's like a flaw that you can choose for your character where you blurt out like you blurt out things like you can't lie. It's like a and it's it's hilarious. All right, continue. You're going to uh, answer go the down. door sure, yeah. just by yourself. <laughs> Magnificent. Hi. You go answer the door. <laughs> yeah, hello, James. You. Yeah. You, you like part the sheer curtain mm -hmm. and you see a gorgeous young woman, like maybe 22 years old, beautiful, like, you know, sort of tan skin, some, some vaguely ethnic, you know, look, okay. dark, like dark hair with like waves, full body dark hair with waves, like curves. And she's wearing like a, a beautiful gown, like, like, you know, formal. Yeah. Just came from the and she sees you and she's like, may I come in? Who are you? She says, why don't you call me Katie? Yo! <laughs> she's like, who are you? You, sh you see that she's like looking at you. She's like, who are you? Currently doing work for the. the grandma. What? <laughs> well, I'll tell her. You get a text message. Oh, no, yeah? Yeah. What's that say? And it says, she's the, the grandma. Oh. That oh, came from Catherine, Morty. Katie. Catherine. Oh. Christ, I don't know how to handle this. <laughs> she says, well, I mean, Is I'll, anyone I'll, else home? I'll open the door and I'll, I'll let her step in at least. Thank you. Um, it's a little but, bit chilly out there. She steps in. But obviously perplexes. No, currently the, um, oh God, what, what's the family name? Testamento. Yeah, the Testamentos are out. Um, oh, well, that's okay. I can wait. And she she kind of like walks just into the parlor, the very parlor that you guys kind of first entered. And you see she, she kind of like walks around and she's looking at it. She's like, hmm, very stuffy, isn't it? Very formal. She like walks over to the old phonograph and she looks through and she's like, oh, this is a great one. And she picks out this this record and sets it down on the phonograph and she starts winding up the phonograph. And she's like, is anyone else here? Some colleagues of mine. <laughs> she sets you guys just like sitting upstairs she, or what? <laughs> I want to what tell you this. If you didn't have a spooky who's telepathically yeah, observing like, this right now, all of you would have no idea what's going on. Yeah. So you are relaying everything that's happening. Fair? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You. She puts on this record, this old, old record. And um, this music starts playing. And it's like an old like, you know, maybe 40s or 50s era, like, torch song singer. And, um, and she's like, oh, I used to dance with this. What a wonderful song. She's like, do you want to dance? No. Or do you have two left feet? <laughs> yeah, it's not my forte. Men okay. these days do not know how to dance. She <laughs> says, my husband could dance. And then you see she walks over you know how there's like different family things? Mm -hmm. She walks over to this picture, this black and white picture, and you see this young couple, and you're like, hmm. It's basically this woman with a young, handsome man. And she looks at Ed and she says, oh, Henry, I miss you. She sets it back down. Where is Henry now? He died about 20 years ago, heart attack. She's like, old age is a terrible thing. Looking pretty well for yourself. <laughs> have we met before? I don't believe we have. I think uh, we missed the opportunity earlier. Are you talking to a ghost? She says, why are you in my home? 
All of you guys are still upstairs? So, yeah. uh, <laughs> just I, 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 I just want to say this. Feel we're creeping free down. to interject at any time. Okay. Like, if you're like, I don't know, let me think. We go Spooky. fucking downstairs. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. I don't, you know, I don't want to railroad you. So if you guys just want to like hang out in the secret attic room, see. that's fine. It John, John, spooky. Sacrifice spooky. Me. Can you yeah, like, read? Is, Come on, like, Spooky. Can you? So you're relaying all this yeah, to us right now. Mind. Can you tell us? Like, can you sense that this person? Is it ghost? Can you tell them that the dead lady is back in her 20s? And I'm like, <laughs> just kind of buying time here. Can we, <laughs> can we banish a spirit to the to the statue well, or something? Why were so upstairs? Wasn't it? John Johnson, you, you, you hear alone. the crescendo of the song. Um, <laughs> and it, it's, it picks up and she's, she's like, she's like, you are here doing what now? Well, we were looking for you. <laughs> oh. Found you. And she says, oh, we well, I'm assuming my family wanted to find me. Yes. I'm glad they're not home. I won't be staying long. I just wanted to stop by the house before I left. They can't really know about what's happened. They wouldn't understand. It's a part of my life that they never really understood, but... Now that it's finally happened, I'm going to take every opportunity and relish this time that I have. I can't wait. I'm going to travel. I'm going to see the world. It's like having another chance at life. What did you do to James? You see her expression changes. I didn't do anything to James. James did that for me. Would you say the same for uh was it was it Jessica that died or who was the Vance. other Vance? We had a disagreement. Richard wasn't willing to be generous. And when I found out <laughs> what he had kept from me all these years. I felt it was only years. appropriate that I claim <laughs> what was like originally mine down. anyway. And the fact that none of the others, neither Colleen or Carlton, had told me, they knew. They knew what Richard had. They knew that he had hidden it. Hey, John. What's and going they didn't on? even tell me. <laughs> so. What, what is it that Richard had? that was kept from you. He had the last ingredient for what I needed. Let's just put it that way. And you see that she, her eyes kind of turn at, and glance towards the stairwell, which is comes down to the landing just next to the entrance of the parlor. Um, as you guys come down the stairs, you enter the parlor and you see, as I described, a stunning, beautiful Catherine Testamento who looks like she's 20 years old. And she turns and she says, are these your friends? As late as ever. <laughs> <laughs> she says, well, I'm assuming that my family hired you to find me. And so I will pay you to fail. I'll pay you. And all you have to do is say that you couldn't find me. I'm leaving. My children can't know. And I don't want to be found. I have a new life, a new chance at life. And I intend to live it to its fullest. See, we banish her. I kind of have an issue with her the, uh, into the statue. Zotes, though. No. You probably don't understand. Oh, please enlighten me. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky, the why are you like is a means to an end. And that end has been achieved. Spooky, why don't you do some magic? Yeah. And trap. what, trapper? Trap. 
Can we trap her? Can I trap this lady you from leaving magic. the house? Trap her in the statue. In the statue? I don't know. That's like the vessel. So you want to for... prevent her from leaving the house? Yes. Yeah. You can make a use magic roll for that. Can I do a help? You could. Nine. That'll help. Ten. That will work. So how are you imagining that you were doing this? Like, do you say something to her? Like, you cannot leave. Or do you, do you just mentally imagine that she can't leave the house? Hmm. I just, like, assumed that, like, I put a, like, a spell on, like, all the doors that she couldn't, like, walk out. I think she couldn't walk out the front door. Excellent. So she is currently not trying to walk out. She's talking to yeah. you in the parlor. Yeah. She says, I have been planning for this for decades. The fact that it's finally happened and she like looks at her flesh and you see she looks in like one of the mirrors and like fixes her hair and she's like, it's incredible. I have a vast sum of money that my family doesn't know about and I'm more than happy to compensate you for your time at double what my children would have paid you. But Why I, only double? <laughs> but it is not my intent to stay. I just wanted to see the house one more time. I love my children, but they're grown and they can handle themselves. This is my turn to enjoy my life. Then why did you possess Vinny? Vinny was possessed. Vinny was definitely possessed. Is he here? No, I got him out. And what about Thank Ricardo? You for that. And Ricardo. Yeah, or, Ricardo. Why, why was Ricardo attacked? Yeah, Ricardo was attacked by Tonight? the god that you mm -hmm. saw. I saw him at the gala. Right after. that shouldn't be happening. I was not skirt around. You literally like killed a man too. To that, well, yeah, that's awesome. I killed no one. Well, I mean, we got two dead people. And here Unless you are. there's another thing, another demon. The bat monster. The bat god. We need you to bring pick. us <laughs> the monster that's doing this. Let's people. take her up to the attic. You do that, we'll let you go. If we sacrifice her, is she going to turn back to an old lady? And She's maybe we dead. Can she her? says, <laughs> what would summoning Kamazots do? He's already granted me this gift, and the price has been paid. And that was? James. Was it James? Yeah. Or was it her? Well, she said James sacrificed would, himself for her. She says James sacrifice himself. It would that protect your children? The, but that was after the fact. That no, I, I don't know what? why Kamazots would have gone after my children. It makes no sense. Don't you want to find out? I can find out right now if I want. Let's do it. Well, then do How? it. She stands up. She says, follow me. She goes upstairs. She's wearing like a ball gown, remember? Okay. She goes upstairs. And then she turns and she sees the, the ruined attic door. And she's like. She goes upstairs again to the attic. You guys follow? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She reaches under her dress, and from her garter, she pulls out a small medallion shaped like a bat made of silver and she holds it and she says she starts speaking in a language that you don't know and she starts speaking at the statue and she completes whatever sentence she was uttering and then you see the statue turn and look at her And she says this statement again. 
And it sounds like a question. And the statue looks at her and does this, like cocks its head. And then you see it do this. And it looks past her at all of you. Mm, yeah, tasty blood. She says, you see her lips quivering and she's like, what did you do? Mm. Like asking us what did we did? Did you yeah. sacrifice someone or something to this servant? Um, we all fed it. Technically? No. You're trying to steal what I've worked a lifetime for? You notice as she gets a little worked up, you see something odd happen. You know the bats that have been kind of passively flying around? They start kind of flying around closer to you guys, like circling. Even though there's a light there, they seem to be kind of like circling closer. And she says, no one will steal what I have taken, what I have forged from my whole life. I give you a choice, and this is the last time you'll get that choice. She looks pretty fierce. She's like, I am leaving tonight. Now you can either leave here significantly more wealthy, or you can die here tonight. Dark past. What black, what black magic do I know that could help here? Oh, <laughs> crucial roll, <laughs> buddy. Gotta roll. Crucial roll. Gotta roll at least a seven. Six plus weird, two, eight. Okay, <sighs> what black magic do I know that could help here? <laughs> okay. You have come to understand that this, this silver bat medallion is somehow a link. And by the way, this is not like, looks like something new that she just like, you know, bought at Nordstrom. Like this, <laughs> like this looks ancient. Um, this is her link. You, 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 it suddenly clicks that like, she's talking to the statue, she's holding this thing, the bats are reacting to her mood. This is the link. And if ever there was a way to somehow take control away from her or to rectify this situation, it has to do with that. How hard would it be to kick her ass? <laughs> She's not an old lady. She's only anymore. summoned a god. Yeah. I mean, what's the, you know. Can I like manipulate her into giving if you can, us If you medallion? can make convincing argument. Sure. And then you can roll. Hmm. Sharpshooter John Jones. What do you want to say? Can you shoot it off her? Well, what if you just grab it? Actually, I, I'm actually not really good with my charm. But I hear you. Well, you're Mr. So Weirdo you heard what she just said, right? Yeah. She basically yeah. gave you an ultimatum. Yeah. Either take yeah. my bribe money and live, or you're going to die tonight. That's what she said. Okay. Um, I feel like this dying. Back from her. <laughs> um, okay, well, we need to get that from her now. Yeah, like because we're like pretty much all standing together, right? Yeah. Could I make like you can you oh, want to try to like it just, snatch it out of her? Yeah, hand. like grab it. Act from under her. pressure. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay, you want me to help out? No. That is you a, can roll a help. You can like distract her yeah. so that he can. Eleven. Okay, uh, so your help adds a plus one to so your nine total. Nine total. Grabby grab. The keeper is going to give you a worse outcome, hard choice, or price to pay. I love prices. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when they have to pay. Okay, here's what happens. You both you both reach out for this thing. She sees you coming and she's like, huh. You grab it from her. Mm -hmm. As you're pulling it away, she says some phrase. She's like, Vanishka! And you pull it away, it's in your hand. But the statue turns and and pulls his spear back and lunges out towards you guys. Meeny, meeny, my 
All right, roll it one dice for me. Me? Just you. Oh, no. This is the fate of someone. Someone's oh, going to get out. Someone. With a two. It's you. Oh, hey. oh goody. Oh, yeah. Goody, good. The statue plunges out with his spear. Can I do protect someone? You can. A, yeah. Go ahead. I'm going to go in. Uh, eight. You protect them? Okay. But you'll suffer some or all of the harm they were going to get. Okay. The spear was definitely going to skewer her. Like, sh- she would have taken four harm. Okay. You push, you push Sarah out of the way and dive in, and the spear goes through your chest. Okay. You take four harm. Or right, minus, minus whatever your thing. I'm going to do a luck on that. That that is a good use of the luck pool. <laughs> um, Problem is, uh, there's a mantra special, so now my curse is more. You need to be <laughs> more. stronger. Okay, so you you turn to the side instead yeah. of skewering you completely. It it carves through your chest, but your your zombification damage reduction yeah. saves you from harm. Okay, you did an action. You almost died. Yep. Um, you have the thing in your hand. Yeah. What are you doing and what are you doing? Well, I helped him. You um, did help him. What are you doing, Viv? Being a distraction. You're the chosen. Step up. Yeah, come yeah. on. Step Get up. it together. <laughs> Get it together, Viv. You can do it. I believe in you. I mean, actually, it doesn't Blitz, matter. Cat hair. Come on, what are you going to do? Everyone else needs you. You have a special magical thing that you can do that, that helps you beat ass and defeat bad things, right? Spiked chain. Hey, you. Know, weapon. Holy weapon of Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we are fighting like a demon yeah. right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's it going to be, Viv? Well, I guess... Yeah, or kick you, some ass. Or do you, or any of your moves special? What's your specials? I can act under pressure with, because I have plus two cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But I guess I don't know what I'm, so you've got the medallion. I've got it now. Yep. DVD, so what's going to happen next? What's the statue? The statue's the attacking statues. people. Stabbing. Okay. Yeah. And it will do so next round. How do I defeat a statue? What's your holy you weapon? Use your weapon. It's got a chain and a blade. Um, chain up some yeah, it's statue with obsidian. Yeah. What are you better at? Kick some ass or act under pressure? Act under pressure. Under pressure. Okay. You're going to roll act under pressure. Okay. You pull out your chain thing, and you basically Wonder Woman this thing <laughs> to prevent its arm from lunging out with the spear again. There you go. Wow. 13. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Well, 11 plus a 2. You, like, no <laughs> joke, straight up Wonder Woman this thing. Like, you're like, no! And you, like, whip your chain, and it goes... And the spiky part, like, wraps itself around the chain and basically, like, grappling hooks it. And, and the, the statue... Despite being eight feet tall and massive, is basically bound. Like you, you have it grappled with your chain, and you're like, like holding it. It's it's spear. It can't lunge out because it has no leverage. Can someone help me to you, pull this thing you down? You have immobilized it. Yes. Next round. Yeah. Catherine Testamento is lunging out towards you, not to hurt you, but to try yeah. to get the, the... Just like, pop her on in the face? Your, well, yes, go ahead, yeah, feel free. You, you can kick some ass. Yeah. I don't think I have anything. Can yeah. we like just destroy this, like, medallion well, it's too? it's silver, isn't it? All right. well, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna it. just kind of keep her at bay first before we... So. Okay. Well, you know, she's... Yeah. Okay. She's up in my face. That's a six... Seven. Okay. No. She, like, you're basically wrestling with each other. Because yeah. it says you, you 
you're inflicting harm on each other. I don't even say that you're inflicting well, harm. I don't want to like her. You, her. Just she does not her. succeed in, in snatching yeah. it away from you. You have it, and you're just like kind of like shoving her back. Yeah. Great. Okay. What, in fact, is Spooky doing? I was thinking of using some magic. Yes. And to enchant a weapon. Yes. So I think I'm going to roll my okay. magic. What weapon, weapon do you want to enchant? Yeah, um, Whose weapon do you want to enchant? Maybe. Hers is enchanted already. Mm -hmm. And even if it wasn't enchanted, you'd be like, damn, that chain is strong. Yeah. I've got a blessed knife, a juju bag that has never worked for me. Although this is magic. Morty so. doesn't have any weapons pulled. And I'm, yeah. I can, I, I can enchant my big knife. Okay. There you go. Can you enchant my teeth? <laughs> I no. mean. No. No. <laughs> I'm going to okay. just veto that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> On principle, I'm like, no. Yeah, I've been fair. very lenient. Okay. okay. So you're going to enchant big knife. Yes. Okay. Go right. ahead. Make that use magic enchantment roll. Six, seven, eight. Okay. So it, it works imperfectly. Mm -hmm. The effect is is that you have an enchanted weapon that gives you harm and, and magic bonus. It's going to be only for a short duration. Okay. That's the glitch. So you 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 see as you do this, you're like concentrating your mental energy and you see there's almost like a phantasmal outline, like almost like the knife is there, but there's like a second knife, like a ghost knife. Oh that is surrounding your blade. What would you like to do with this? I want to stick it into Catherine. Into her? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, we're, we're just, just like go ahead. murdering a lady. Roll kick some ass. <laughs> you already trapped her in the house. Yeah. Like, what you... <laughs> go ahead. Well, no, 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 no. no you yeah. said what you said. Go. Yeah. I said yeah. what I said. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> what if she rolled like Six, a 12? Seven, yeah. eight, uh, nine. Good Lord. <laughs> well, Catherine's dead. Okay, so it's <laughs> fortunately you didn't roll a ten because that would have been really bad. That would be you inflict terrible harm. So you you inflict the harm of your knife, which is what plus, plus one, one plus two. Yeah, plus so it's one. plus it's plus one. two because it's enchanted. Yep. So sh you like s stab her and she's like ah. Now the good thing is that she's no longer bothering yeah. John Johnson. She falls to the attic floor like holding this wound in her stomach. You, or no, wait, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna go turn on the light. The light's on. Oh, is it? Uh -huh. Okay, well then never mind. The uh, bats, by the way, are swarming around. Like they are reacting to this, to what's ensuing. Uh, you see that the statue is ensnared, basically, okay. by by Viv's holy chain of chains. <laughs> so I mean, it seems ridiculous, but I'm gonna bite a statue. You're gonna bite the statue? Yeah. It I seems will, insane. I will encourage you to make that roll. Okay. <laughs> uh, ten. What damage do you cause? Uh, three. So here's the weird thing. It's not quite like biting into flesh, right. but it's definitely not like biting through metal. Okay. The statue seems to be in some malleable form. Okay. So it's like biting through hard leather, let's say. That's what it sort of tastes like to you, like trying to bite through a shoe. So okay. you bite through it, you do some damage. Okay, I also have the ignore armor to my base attack. God so. damn it. Yeah. <laughs> you do three damage. Right. Okay. The statue is like, like it doesn't make noise, but it's struggling, obviously, as you've bitten this chunk out of its shoulder. You're up. Morty. Okay. Uh, I will act under pressure. What are the bats doing? They're Nothing. I mean, they're the bats certain. are like swarming closer to you guys, and you, your sense is that. S it's they're they're reacting to like the strife that's going on right now with the statue. Can I use? I have a juju bag, which yes. is one harm for fire magic. Can I just kind of like? Yes. Okay. Yes, you should do that. Okay. So four. 
in your brain, you're like, I am Gandalf. You shall not pass. And and you you shake the juju bag, and the bats are like, like an and they experience. come towards you. You take one harm. I have that juju bag has never worked. You are you are surrounded, and, <laughs> and three like, bats claw you. You take a harm, and you're like, ah, uh, Viv. You don't. You you have never seen your chain have this much effect. Mm-hmm. It, you see that this, the statue is struggling, but it cannot break free. Yeah. So instead, you see it like starting to step away, like it's trying to hold, like it's trying to walk towards the dark side of the attic, mm-hmm. away from the light. You need to make an act under pressure roll again to hold Make this thing so it because it's it you still have it immobilized but it's mm-hmm. trying you're basically like like it's because it's eight feet tall yeah it's pulling so you need to make like a counter okay do i have to do act under pressure or can no. i use if you have something else you'd like to do i'm just setting up the the situation i would want to use magic and do do a thing that is beyond yes you human do yes limitation. yes you do that's the right one <laughs> is it a five, five? It's, a a five. five. it's a five so mm. it's just a straight up nope <laughs> you guys see viv being pulled like she's like straight up like tug of war okay with a chain and a, and a statue but the statue's winning tug of war. The statue has not made it into the dark side of the attic yet, but next round it will, and she's getting dragged with it because her chain's wrapped around it. Back to you, John Johnson. Do I feel anything from this bat? Do you want to try to use magic? You've never done it before. I mean, so like nothing like obvious. No. Then, okay. Uh, then no, I do not. Um, so if I see the statue trying to get away from Vivian. I'm gonna see if I could pressure it back. But, well, you want to play tug of war and help her? Yeah. Okay, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Act under pressure. All right. <clears throat> uh, eight. You succeed. <laughs> Give you a worse outcome, hard choice, or price to pay. You stop it from moving forward. You and Viv are now holding the chain and pulling it back. But it is neither going forward or back. You've kind of kept it from moving forward for this round. And that brings us to Spooky Sarah. You gonna stab the grandma again or what are you gonna do? (laughs) She's like on the floor holding a wound. I think I've already dealt with her. Um, Should I do something with the bat? What can I do with well, the we're at a standstill. Um, we're at a standstill with the statue. Well, oh, I don't know what statue. I can do with the. Remember with the how you have an enchanted knife? Oh, I yeah. still have the enchanted knife. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Short term. Oh. Mm-hmm. So can I use that and hit the, the statue? statue with it? Yes. You roll Absolutely. And Kick some ass. Yeah. Okay. Eight nine. See? See how much ass you kick? <laughs> you do two more damage. Your spirit knife goes, and the, and the you see it. It doesn't shriek in pain because it doesn't make noise. But it, you see it like, like sharply react to this stabbing. Rider, you're you're still like grappling this thing, yeah. and it's trying to pull everyone into the darkness. But you're still there. I'm gonna use magic, and in similar fashion to what Vivi was doing, but I'm gonna use like superhuman strength to like push him towards the light since I'm already on the show. Well played. Yeah. Make that roll. Uh, 11. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, that's a lot of success. You, you, you don't even try. You're like, no, and you just start pushing him. And, and like, you guys kind of like fall back because the chain goes <laughs> slack. And you straight up push him like directly under the light bulb. Mm-hmm. And and he's still ensnared in your chain. Um, he is now under the light bulb. You are up. 
Oh, my QQ bag didn't work last time. Maybe it'll work this time. I could try that again on the bats, or I have a Magnum. <laughs> Sorry, Shoot the bags. Did you try the juju bag on the statue? Yeah, I could try it on the statue and see if that, like, further stuns him, or... Okay. Yeah. Or, yeah. Make that move. Or paralyzes him or something, you know. Um, okay, so I'm acting under pressure. Eight. That is a success. Mm -hmm. Woo! You mm -hmm. notice that the, what, what's, read the description of the effect of the juju bag, it does one All point. it says it's one harm, far magic. So you're not even like, well, actually you are close to it because mm -hmm. he pushed it up. Yeah. You, you do that and what happens is kind of weird. You start shaking the bag and you see the light, the single light bulb get like significantly brighter. And then you see the, the like statue like stop resisting and start to, start to like become more rigid. It is not struggling against you anymore. You're up. Um, I guess, can I intensify that light even more? Yes, use magic. Okay. Eight. Or nine. Nine. Describe what Vivi wants to do ultimately, like with this situation. I guess, and just like intensify that light so much and it just starts to kind of crumble underneath powerful light. You see the statue crack, like there's a crack. And it actually makes a sound, like the sound of like metal sundering. You, Notice Catherine Testamento bleeding on the ground. And, and she's like, please give it to me, please. I don't want anyone to be harmed. Your turn. She's like dying. From what I can tell, or she just like mm, she's up. badly wounded. Like okay. if left here, she would die. She would bleed out. Oh, okay, so, so not an immediate life-threatening situation. Correct. Oh boy. I suppose. If she's reaching out to it. I'll put it in her hand, but like cup my hand into hers. So I'm still holding it in her hand. Make an act under pressure roll. Uh, 10, 12. You see she's whispering words in that weird language that you don't know and you see the wound on that she's holding like begins to close. Okay, that's fine. You feel fine. Yeah, it's cool. your turn. <laughs> Get ready to stab her again. Yeah. <laughs> Straight out. She's like, take, take out my kid and knife. Um, I guess I want to continue to keep cracking the statue. So um, I am going to pick some ass with my knife to yes. stab it in hopes that Seeing it. Seeing this weakness, you stab out with your spirit knife? Yes. Okay. Six, eight, nine. Another infliction of two more. And, and you notice that the statue, when you stab it, it's, it's harder now. It's not like that leathery form. It's actually like clang. So you're, you're your blade, the physical blade bounces kind of off of it, but you see, you, no one else, sees your spirit blade go in, and then you see another crack up here. You're up. Okay. 
I'd say based off knowing it's getting harder, biting it, it's not going to work. You feel like that is accurate. So I'm going to use magic. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to intensify the light even more. Like Spider-Man 2 where he like creates like the mini sun. The, the amount of light coming yeah. out of that light bulb is already exceeding what science supports. <laughs> <laughs> so you realize that like you're just amplifying the light field. Just get a small sun uh, in this eight. attic. Okay, the light bulb starts to, to work. Okay. Pause. As you do that, you see light starting to come through. Like, you know how like in an attic you could see like the seams between certain things? Light, like sunlight, is coming through into the attic from cracks everywhere. And it's bright, like crazy bright like an alien ship landing bright. And it's coming from everywhere, and it's hitting the statue. You see the bats start to scatter and freak out. Some good magic. You also notice something. You see a weird, bright aura forming around John Johnson. Like a weird white light aura forming around him. Yeah, I died, guys. Sorry. Because <laughs> you're still holding the yeah. medallion, right? Yeah, but more importantly, what did you think of as Ryder was doing that? You said it out loud. What did you think of? When, when Ryder was doing what? When Ryder was making the light making brighter, my, you, yeah. you oh, yeah, said Oh, yeah, it's like something. a small sun. Yeah. That's, uh... And then all of a sudden, really bright light started pouring into the attic. Yeah. That's why I made you make that roll earlier. Somehow you are manipulating light and you feel like it has to do with what you have cupped in your hand with her. Mm. The light gets brighter inside mm. from the bulb and from external forces. You're up. Oh, I'm sorry. That light hitting the statue, more cracks begin to form. Like little hairline fractures begin to form like all over the statue. Well, I have a blessed knife or a magnum. Don't think the QQ bag is gonna do much more. I can make things brighter. You know so. why it doesn't work for you, right? Because you don't have faith in it. <laughs> you have to have faith for it to work. I could use the goo goo bag and kick us up from a thousand lumens to a thousand and one lumens. Do -do. Or I could like use the magnum, like because yeah. he's all broken and weaked and cracked. Who knows? Like, give him a okay. We'll use the magnum. Okay. Act under magnum pressure. Magnum it is. You Whip are it the out. expert. You know. What? <laughs> Six. <laughs> Boom. A loud so blast of sound emits as a bullet ricochets around the attic. Sweet. Can I use magic to blow the roof off? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You, you can't. Okay. Eight. <laughs> we killed your butler. Um, <laughs> the roof does not blow off, but I'll tell you what happens. Uh uh. A couple of the like, uh, I don't know what it's called, like the soffit, you know, like the part that connects the the roof to the attic. Yeah. Like, some of those boards break out basically, and and more of that light from outside pours in. Free sky lights. More cracks appear on the sh on the, the the I was gonna say shattering, but it's not it's not quite shattering, but like cracks are appearing, and a few chips even kind of start to come off from different places. Catherine's holding that that thing with you mm -hmm. and and concentrating and you see that her her wound is gone and and she she looks at you and she lets go and she just she's still on the floor mm -hmm. but she like steps like not steps like kind of backwards crawls away from the whole conflict like the statue and everything kind of puts her back up against a wall almost as if she's like not certain what to even do you're up. Does he still have an aura over his head? He does not anymore. Not anymore. 
Okay. Um, well, I guess I gotta continue going to the statue. Okay. So I will roll to stab the statue again. You sense the 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 spirit knife is fading, mm-hmm. which means that this is your last round to have spirit knife. So okay. you stab again. Go ahead. Seven, eight. Your your knife snaps, but the spirit knife goes in and stays in there. A huge crack forms. A massive chunk of like its torso just clang like falls to the ground. Ryder, you're up. Uh, I want to continue working on the roof. And just, I, look, we're, you want to blow it out? Yeah, we're Go demolishing ahead. this house. Go ahead. Uh, All right. <laughs> I mean, they have insurance, it's fine. Yeah. 11. Oh! Nice. Now that's an explosion. <laughs> like, the roof blows out. You see that it's nighttime still. Yeah. Like, dawn has not yet arrived, though it's close. The roof blows out. That bright light's gone. Oh, okay. You feel like that bright light was not the actual sun. It was. But when the sun comes up, it's gonna come right in because <laughs> you made a big hole. You're up. Let me see how I can use magic or something. Because I'm just not good at using weapons, as my QQ bag has shown. Can enchant a weapon? Enchant the magnum. <laughs> yeah. Nice cool. Enchant the magnum. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're like, please. Uh, five. Remember in Dirty Harry when you were awesome? <laughs> just, I just need one. Please. And you're like this talking is, to the this Magnum. Is all of my experience coming. Viv is up. I want to act under pressure and take my chain and whip it at the statue. Your chain is still wrapped around it. Oh. You could, however, try to pull. Okay. The chain and maybe like, like it'll fall. Tight. Drop, drop the, it. Yeah. Go ahead. Let's do that. Maybe like where you do the loosen and then pull and you trip them up and six. You're like, ah. ah. It's it's despite the fact that it's cracking, chipping, falling apart, you it's it still weighs a jillion pounds. You are up. What's happening right now? <laughs> Actually, you're not up. <laughs> Catherine Testamento looks at you. She says, John, John, if you let me go, I'll tell you the word. The banishment. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> tell us. Yeah. She says, Ergo axias. Say it. Ergo axias. <laughs> Nothing happens. Uh, uh, no, just roll. <laughs> make, make a use magic roll. All right. Most magical Can man here. Roll? That's 11. What? Well, damn. Just, despite you nothing. not actually not saying sure it, <laughs> John Johnson utters the words as if they were pouring out of the very book of the Mayan lore themselves. And, and you say these words, and you see that the statue now doesn't blow apart, it implodes. It, it begins like pulling into itself, the metal twisting and binding. And you remember the whoosh sound that you heard earlier? You hear like that whoosh, but it's continuous. It's like a, like a reverse whoosh, like a vacuum sound, like sucking in. And you see this thing continue to suck in until it's, it's just collapses into this ball of misshapen not even a ball, just like this misshapen, twisted hunk of metal. And it falls to the ground. You notice that the bats all begin to pour out of the hole in the attic ceiling. Just, and you're like, oh my God, like you literally take cover because there's so many. And about a minute later, all of the bats have flown off.
You're in the attic and it's silent. Catherine Testamento stands up. Her her gown with a a cut in it and blood, but you see no wound under it. And she looks at all of you very tentatively. And she says, I will keep my word. Let me go, and all of you will walk away well compensated for your time. But I have to leave now. And all I ask is that you not speak of me from here on out. I don't want my family or anyone else to know. I just want to leave. You notice that she's not trying to like be sneaky or edge to the door. And she, you see her eyes frequently dart back to Sarah. Undo and John. Your curse. And then Sarah. And then John. I mean, at this point, I think we let her go. Yeah. Honestly, I wasn't going to turn out to explain this one. <laughs> she <laughs> she says, you can, you can keep the talisman. Oh, I still have it? Like, is it still intact? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Let it go. <laughs> you want to keep that? I, I don't need it. Let her go. Yeah. Undo your curse. And then she just She's looking her. back and forth at you. You guys see a little bit of, little bit of light coming through the hole in the. God, do it quick. Oh, yeah, she's probably, yeah, we should let Because dawn is coming. I don't know. If we don't want to let, let her go. go. Or she, or she could delegate some. And then, could, and could then I ask her like what she plans to do if we let getting, her go? She's gonna give us double the money. I she's have hundreds of millions of dollars. She's like, I'm extremely wealthy. And a fair amount of that money Ghost has money. been successfully hidden from the government for decades. I have spent the majority of my adult life working towards this. Take I the ghost money and run. I think yeah. she's possessed. No, I'm she's not possessed. possessed. <laughs> Take the ghost money. She's being sketchy. I bought a new lease on life. I bought my youth through the sacrifice to an ancient Mayan god. You just destroyed that ancient Mayan god's servant. I simply want to leave. I don't even need the talisman. You can keep it. See, it's I have a safe downstairs with hundreds of hundred dollar bills. How do we miss it's that? yours. I'll open it and then leave. Let her go. She and didn't she, even have to tell leaves, my son that I paid you. She did kill some people. Well, I didn't but, kill anyone. That was the that, that was, was the, the demon, god. That was yeah. the demon yeah. thing. The uh, servant yeah. killed them. I didn't order anything to be killed. I why would I have sent that thing to harm my take, children? Take the money and run. She says, "Please." She's, let her go. She's, she's, you see, she's like just her desperation anyway. on yeah, her face. Yeah, she's she's dead anyways. And if she does leave and starts messing stuff up again, that's job security for us, because it's just another, <laughs> like... <laughs> I mean, she doesn't want to deal with her family, so why are we going to keep her and you be like, oh yeah, here's her mom, but she's 70 years younger. We already blew yeah. the, the they roof off this house. It. They're not going to pay us. Yeah, Like, we're not... Ricardo's not paying. I say, <laughs> the door is the least of his work. I say we let her go. You know, I mean... She's looking at all of you, like... In a panic. Undo it. Uh, Sarah. Okay, I undo my banishment. Don't you have to roll to see if you can do undo I? it? Yeah. I don't know. Do I have no. to roll? I think she, you, I can, can just... you have control over it. Yeah. She says, well, if you want to be paid, let's go, quickly. She goes downstairs. You guys following? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She goes down to the study. She takes one of the paintings off the wall. It's hinged. Always and then paintings. she goes to a safe, she opens <laughs> the safe, she opens it up, and she gestures inside of the safe are cleanly, neatly stacked um, stacks of hundreds. And she says that should be sufficient for one night of work. I wish you all the best of luck, and I thank you truly from the bottom of my heart for your discretion. I love my children, but they are all adults, they have more than enough money to live off of, thanks to my husband's estate. And now I can live my life. And she walks away. And you see she goes out the side door towards the garage. 
few moments later, you hear a car start, and then an explosion. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, she's just gonna like um, walk away. Oh, no, you hear the, the car start. She drives out. What are you guys doing? You're securing in the an money. empty house that's half destroyed, securing the money. Yep. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Everybody starts grabbing wads of money. Yep. Yep. Then what? Go to the we, car. We Let's go to the van. The and then you leave. Do we yeah. have Vinny's number? I know we have Ricardo's number. Do we have Vinny's? I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> you are. Well, they Should contact we us. They have, our, right. they have our contact. Like well, they, they reached out to us. Well, like, through our that's a one. <laughs> that, <laughs> it's a hard one. Wait, what? You what guys are very aware that the police are going to be here literally any minute. Right? All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, you go out to the big, big BM. The big the BM. BM. <laughs> you guys get in with wads of cash, and yeah. you drive off. A little bit later, you you arrive back at. Did we name your base of operations, Morty? We did not. At the bat, the safe haven. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, you you arrive back at your sanctum. Um. You guys go inside, presumably, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and lay all this money on the table. There's a hundred thousand dollars in cash. So each one of you gets twenty thousand dollars. You should mark that down on your character sheet because money may or may not matter in the future, but it certainly matters when you have stacks of it. John Johnson, your cell phone rings. You can see by caller ID that the number is that of Ricardo Testamento. Just gonna put that on. Uh. <laughs> you send it to voicemail. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's a fairly decent choice. Um, <laughs> you guys have arrived at the dawn. You are exhausted. Many of you are harmed in some way, small or large. And uh, we're in an infirmary. But you have yes, but you have access to the infirmary, uh, and we will adjudicate all of the downtime things and experience, and all that stuff later. But that concludes. That concludes this very interesting um, story that we've played through, which I haven't formally named, but I, I feel like it has to do something with bats. So. <laughs> Um, hopefully you all that have been watching this epic three-part saga have enjoyed, once again, our game of Monster of the Week. Thank you, as always, for liking and subscribing, and we will see you hopefully soon with yet another mystery to be solved on Resolution Experts Incorporated. Peace out. Bye-bye. Well, hello, and welcome to Bill Allen World. I am Wizzy, the wizard. I'm back once again to remind you to subscribe and click on the notifications button and also watch videos that are over there. Tune in to the next episode of whatever show you are just watching and watch other shows featuring Bill. He made me say that because he's a narcissist. Okay, bye.